Would you rather talk like Yoda or talk like Darth Vader? Dark skin talking like Darth Vader is not gonna help. Just, uh, just let you know. You might go to jail. <laughs> you might go. You might. You might get arrested for more money. Don't even think niggas wanna owe you money. Period. Yeah, like, I'll just pay you up front, bro. Shit. And we're back. It's your boy X, RIPMX on everything social. Uh, Castro Nero 88 on Instagram. Money Mitch, 54X Mitch on Instagram. Boom, when we are on Common Sense, I'm going to start the day off. I'm going to kick it off with some quick fire questions. Get the mood rolling. Boom, you guys ready for this? Let's do it. All right. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Would you rather have unlimited battery life on all your devices or free Wi-Fi wherever you go? Mitch, go ahead. Unlimited battery, because realistically with my data plan, like I don't, I don't even use half of my shit. Boom, you want battery life. What do you want? Because Moses' dad is not the best right now. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that was crazy. Yo, first The change all. in confidence was crazy. Bro. I answered that shit quick. Like, I'm Yo. standing on it. This guy had to think about, like, how much do I even have left right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's just because I'm like, fuck, bro. Need that Wi-Fi still, but... Free Wi-Fi? Yeah, I'd probably go free Wi-Fi. Okay, I have a data plan. I'm going with the battery. Boom. Yeah. Would you rather have skin that changes color based on your emotions or tattoos that appear all over your body depicting what you did yesterday? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We'll go with the emotional skin. <laughs> yo, you just a foul shit yesterday. Yo, you don't know what I did yesterday. And I don't want you to know what I did yesterday. So, yo, listen. Emotional skin still. Yeah, I don't want you to know what I'm already tired. <laughs> yo, this guy. <laughs> this guy's yesterday. Your name might have been drastic, eh? That's crazy. <laughs> just, a, just a big art, just a ski mask on this nigga. <laughs> yo. <laughs> when the ski mask appears, I'm like, oh, that's what you're doing. Eh? I, I. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going with the emotional skin. Boom, <laughs> moving on. Would you rather have a third nipple or an extra toe? Jesus, bro. <laughs> Yo. I had to think about that because that's ugly no matter what, bro. You look crazy. <laughs> I'm out here just... <laughs> uh, extra toe? But the third nipple, like you're wearing the wife beater and where's the poking nip- Yeah, where, is, where are we doing Middle of your it chest. At? Middle of my shit? Oh, yeah. I'll probably go with you the can't extra even hide toe, it. fam. Yo, the middle but nipple the shoes is... might not fit properly, right? Like how you how big it? is it? Like, fuck. It's a fucking yeah. extra. It'll be the, it's right after the baby toe. It's after oh, the baby toe. It's not, it's, not on, it's not two big toes. Two big toes is crazy. <laughs> that's ugly as fuck. Nah, I might go at the nipple and just try fucking, I don't know, get like a surgery or something. No, there's no surgery, nigga. That's yours. Yeah, just tied over the I'm nipple. going with the toe still. I can cover some socks. <laughs> this guy's making a Cyclops eye in the middle of his chest. Yeah, with I would have tied over wear, the nipple I can wear a sock still. We're good. I'm going to your foot might hurt you. My feet already hurt me. I'm sorry. Yeah, but the nipple is crazy. <laughs> no, I felt like <laughs> that. They got flat feet already. Like, oh, like, like all right, Yo, X don't got the best feet. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, <clears throat> would you rather lose the ability to read or the ability to speak? Jesus, bro. <laughs> like How good's my speech if shit. I can't read anyway? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm dumb as shit anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus, see, talking bro. like this, that's crazy, like a baby. But then I gotta use fucking <laughs> sign language the whole time. You just can't. You can write. That's a e. <laughs> Every time, I... <laughs> <laughs> you can't even get mad, bro, over there for not effectively. Right? Yeah, not effectively. Shit, that's crazy. I guess I'll just be a dumb nigga that can speak, try to figure it out. <laughs> dumb nigga with some words, eh? Yeah, bro. Dumb nigga. With Hopefully, words I'm good at math speak. or some shit. You know. You're the same level of comprehension you got right now. I'll be all right, man. Remember, you're not gaining I, I ability. I don't know. I probably figure I can't speak in that bare knowledge. So it just causes right now in his wisdoms? Yeah, you know. I feel like I still get the same no, so just well, as far. I'm going to be speaking even if I can't read. So it is what it is. Niggas will just have to. <laughs> so every time we ask Hieroglyphics you, for these niggas. So every time you, we ask you a question, you're just going to write this shit down? And just show the audience how you feel? That's Better crazy. have some good penmanship, nigga. No I like. talking, nigga. No talking. All right. <clears throat> Would you rather detect every lie you ever hear or get away with every lie you ever tell? Detect the lies, because I don't really be lying too much anyway. <laughs> <laughs> detect the lies or what's the other one? Or get away with every lie you've ever told or tell. Get away with every lie I ever told. Damn, you're Scheme, a shady nigga still. I'm like, well, <laughs> scheming ass. He thought nigga. about it too. He's like, I lie, fam. I've been lying. I'm a lie to these <laughs> niggas. No, it's not even that. <laughs> I've been doing that, bro. I don't ever want to get Say caught for this shit. <clears throat> Would you rather be the funniest person in the room or the smartest person in the room? Smartest person. I'm going with the smartest person. 
I'd rather be the funniest person because yo, if I'm in this, if I'm the smartest person in the room, then they say yo, you're in the wrong room because you always kind of want to be around niggas that know some shit that you don't. You get what I'm saying? But I'm yo. too smart to be even listening to niggas. Why is this guy talking to me? Yeah, I'm the yo. smartest <laughs> guy in the room. Yeah, nice. you're not funny. You're a dickhead. You didn't, you're like I can't be the smartest I in the room. Like Fam, then okay I can't be in a room. Though. We're just cool with that. We just accepted the fact. Especially, that. especially if it means like I still get to be the smartest nigga in the room. I'm just a dickhead. Like, all right, I'll well, take that. Well, Mister, yeah, like, Mister Intelligence, would you rather talk like Yoda or talk like Darth Vader? <laughs> Yo, Darth Yoda's Vader. talking in riddles still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna hear me. You'll be raspy, but you're gonna hear me. It's like Yoda's over there making you think too much sometimes. I, I might talk, talk like Yoda still. <laughs> I might talk like Yoda. Cause why are you talking like Yoda? <laughs> Cause this guy likes the confusion, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Yo. to piss you off. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> Holy, that's that's crazy. Okay. Dark skin talking like Darth Vader is not gonna help. Just I just let you know. You might go to jail. <laughs> you might go. You might you might get arrested. Mind my money. Like. <laughs> <laughs> don't even think niggas wanna owe you money. Yeah, like I don't feel I'll like that's the same. I'll just pay you up front, bro. Like, oh, I feel like yeah, that's not gonna work for me. Would you rather clean up someone's vomit or someone's blood? Damn, blood. Blood. Vomit, vomit just stinks, vomit. you know what I mean? That it's just you. gross. It is. I've cleaned up a nigga's vomit. I was very mad about it. I never cleaned up a nigga's I never I've did either one, blood, but I'm going to pit the blood. I've cleaned up nigga's blood. I'm going to go with the blood, I suppose, because it's like... I feel like that's heavier. You got to, like, sage the crib after you clean up the blood. I guess Why does it got to be my crib? Why we do all that? Yeah, but blood doesn't really have, like, house? a... Blood doesn't have really, like, a scent. You kind of only would get disgusted. And that's blood has a scent, has some scent bro. No, but not But the it's same. not, like, a vomit. It's yeah, like it's not iron, fucking nigga. vile, fam. It's yeah, not, yeah, like, yeah, like... Yeah, vomit is gross. Yeah, that's different. <clears throat> would you rather every phone call... Would you rather end every phone call with I love you or accidentally <laughs> call your partner the wrong name every single time you had sex? I love you. So yeah, every phone call you end ever in your life, and you, you end it with or that call love. call Shorty the wrong name every time you have sex. I'm obviously no wrong I'm... name. Still, she's gonna have to hug that. Like, yo, my head's a little fucked up, seeing. But everybody I talk to, I'm gonna say I love you to them at the end of the convo. That's a e that thing. Not even the man. I love you. Eh? Even the man, I'm like. Ah, like <laughs> <laughs> now, now you're now you're talking crazy to compensate, bro. <laughs> Just cause, cause I know the convo is ending. Like, yo, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know, eh, man? I love you, seeing. Just tell my show. You have to say play. gangster every time. Just to say gangster. <clears throat> Calling the wrong name just seems like I'm not sleeping. Would you rather role play? Would you rather wear sweatpants every day for the rest of your life, or never wear sweatpants again? Damn, bro, that's profound. Bitch is wearing sweatpants right now. That's I'm good. wearing the fuck out of some sweatpants right we now. We noticed. How do you feel um, about it? Um, would you depart with them forever? So hold on, it was I gotta wear it all the time or never? Yeah, that was the no. Nah, I guess I'll pay never because realistically, it's like I just wear jeans and shorts from now on. But yeah. I don't give a fuck about no sweatpants. I feel you. I'm wearing jeans as well. I'm wearing jeans as well. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather listen to Elton John or Cher for the rest of your life? That's crazy. I, oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, I don't even know their music. I have, to pick, I have to pick Cher because that's the only one I Yo, know. You like, know you know why you're not picking <laughs> Oh, I didn't even think of that still. I don't even think. I literally just don't know his music, but I know Cher has that one song. Type Do of you Uber. believe? Love after love. He did it better Tone. than I could still. Tone. Yeah, I know that one. Got so it in just... in the signs you said. Uh, is he? Read it up. It's time done. <laughs> this nigga was in the tune, fam. Yeah, you felt that. That meant something to you. I think I know your decision. I'm just I'm going with Cher. I'm not going. Home. I don't I, even. Know I think you have to at this point. I'll listen to that song on repeat day in and day. You out. can't sing it. I'll like piss that. people like get in my car. Do you believe in love after love? Doesn't even matter. It's the only shit we bumping. Hey, man. I'm going to go with Cher. I don't know. No, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't even Cher. know his music. He lost by default. <laughs> he lost by default. <laughs> I don't know. Would you rather live in a treehouse or a cave? Treehouse. Make it a mod one still. Yo, maybe a cave still. Cave might be a little warmer than a treehouse. Yeah. You know, when you really think like about where the treehouse was. In a tree. <laughs> I Me feel like y'all. I'm more safer in the cave. Yo, though. bro, that's even worse. <laughs> How? Fam, I'm, yo, in so, I'm in a hot place in a treehouse. Oh, I just feel like your treehouse would be tropical, that sick in yard. Like a niggas live rain? in treehouses in yard and like not tree. Fam, you didn't say what standard of treehouse. You just said treehouse or a cave. My treehouse is lit and I'm somewhere fam, hot. You're in my yard. cave is lit. <laughs> the fuck you niggas talking about? Yeah, I'm going with the cave. It'll be easier to furnish. Yeah. Plus, it's like 
when that when that tropical rain hits, I'm good. Yeah, your tree house is fr- fragile, boom. Yeah, you can't take. Too I don't know. Though. You never seen like fucking on YouTube when man's build those extravagant yeah, tree houses. I didn't, shit? I didn't think you were building that in yard still. Fam, why are you putting limits on my tree house? You didn't say it had to be your kind of tree house. You just said tree house or cave. Fam, my tree house <laughs> looks like the ones on YouTube. Respect. Yeah, what's the spiral steps? All that, fam. My <laughs> shit is lit. Yo, yeah. Yo, uh, you know what? All right, you're doing the cave. I'm doing the cave. It's just more practical. I respect it, and I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> would, you, <laughs> would you rather hunt and butcher your own meat or never eat meat again? That's a savage thing to hunt do. And so every time I want to eat a burger, I have to kill that nigga first. That's too much, bro. I'm not even going to hold you. That's a lot. I'm going to kill that nigga. <laughs> 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 the nigga said, like, yeah, I'm, I'm killing him. Because, yo, honestly, like, I'm not going to be looking at this and saying, yo, that tree looks good. Like, like realistically, nah, if, you, right, if you kill your... Because, you, yo, you could just freeze it and just hold it down. Like, because if you kill one cow, that should last a well, I'm, I'm with him still. I'm with him. I'm with him. I'm going to just kill it. Just, how are you going to kill the cow? I'm going to shoot it. What do you mean? Oh, uh, you dickhead. Like, go, people go hunting all the time. You shoot the deer, like, I don't know where they shoot in the head or the heart, wherever the most fucking... You just shoot the thing. And then you cut it up yeah, and freeze yeah. it, and then you got meat for like fucking your your things about months, how long, whatever. Dry aged over here. Yeah, holy, the matter of my You have beer. You got all the cuts. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use that. Nigga's oh, what body are you for doing? Like a, you know what I mean, what am I? I might go vegan. Like realistically, it's just impractical <laughs> to go kill something every time I want to eat some food. No, because you literally you could kill like two things. I a live year in the city. I'm not gonna lie. I feel you, but like, how man. did you get to the city? How the yeah. fuck did you? I get live to down the here, bro. It's in my real life. You can go kill it, have it frozen, bring it back to your crib, leave it in the freezer. As opposed to like, I'm never gonna eat a steak again. You might have to kill that cow still. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm just saying, like me personally, halal practicality. Meat, I, not halal. Curry go like you're never food. doing that again. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. If I gotta kill it and store a whole goat in my freezer, I might not. I, my freezer's not that big. Go in this guy's crib and eat. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't like. It's not like I have to have the entire thing. Like, yo, me and cuz are killing shit. We can go halves. Like, you want half of this goat, fam? Mm-hmm. Like, you, nah, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, in this scenario, you can only have what you kill. So if you didn't kill it, you can't. You can't even share yo, with this. Why guy. are you? Why are you rules? late, this like, bro? Yo, this guy, this I like, find a solution. No he adds more up. rules. Like, why? Because oh we're God. vegan, we can't link. <laughs> like, you're bro, your game vegan. feels racist. Like, if I don't you want know, a salad, we'll I go. come knock on your tree, fam, for your game. <laughs> 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 like, like you know what I'm saying, yo, give me some leaves and berries fat for my meal. Nah, nah, run up, run up. Anyways, would you rather find your soulmate or your calling? Damn. <laughs> this nigga said, damn. <laughs> That's a lot still. <laughs> In a perfect world, <laughs> they would hope it's the same thing. <laughs> You're my calling. I don't even want my woman to be my calling. That's too much. <laughs> In a perfect world. Yeah, like, you see, you, 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 my it, woman's dude? not my purpose. That's a lot, bro. <laughs> That's what you find in your calling. You like that. You gotta want them to be your purpose. She's bugging on. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know. I, feel like I already know purpose, my. Though. I already know my purpose though. So I'm gonna find my soulmate. All right, go ahead. What are you doing? Your purpose? Your oh, fuck. Hold on. What's your what's your, what's your calling? Yeah, money. Yo, Yo, bro, that was... That was like a real Scarborough response. I respect <laughs> it. That with the, with the teeth. You didn't even let me too. finish. Don't even worry about it. Like, I'm focused, bro. What are you doing over there? You find your soulmate? So I'm going to spend your eternity with and be eternally fulfilled in terms of, like, love and shit? Or are you going to do uh, your calling and, like, do what he's doing? I'm going to do my calling. Word, eh? Word. I might do my... I'm going to do my calling, too. But I just wanted to see it and, like, try to dress it up and see if the niggas want to do anything different. Anyhow, speaking on soulmates and love, yo, we're in a transition. Moving on from quick fire, because I don't know how no more quick fire. Got oh, me. I, I one still. Oh, you got some? Yeah, I didn't even realize. Yo, we got caught up in the questions. I forgot to throw my shit in there. Okay, go ahead. It's just, it just a one ounce, because I, you know what? Re- realistically, I watched somebody else talk about the shit. I'm like, you know what the fuck I'm going to ask? <clears throat> Would man rather a uh, beautiful broke woman or an ugly billionaire? This shows your real morals. You got stuck. I'm not even gonna hold you. Like, yo, <laughs> I asked, I asked him the question. This, he's like, oh, this lie. shows how like how evil you can nah, be. Okay, I just not my question. I heard this question, put, but you know what? It was in reverse. They were asking. Crazy. They were asking women, "Would you rather be um, who you are, or would you rather be an ugly billionaire?" So you're, or you either you'd rather be just as beautiful as you are, or an ugly billionaire. 
I don't remember the responses, but I remember the question. Okay. So I just said, fuck it. I'm going to throw it in. Throw it so in my it. thing is, I could only date a woman <clears throat> who's beautiful and broke or an ugly billionaire. Yep. She's ugly, but she got a belly. But she's ugly, though, but right? She's ugly, though. He's like, why can't I if she could fix herself? No. Okay. <laughs> I might have gave you leeway, but yeah. the way that you got at me for my <laughs> Yo, answers, no, fam, I'm like, no. I'm like, wait, so she no. has all this loot, she can't fix herself? No. I'm gonna go with the broke, beautiful woman. Because, yo, I'm not gonna lie, like, you can't be my woman and be ugly. Like, ugly is such a big word. <laughs> and I think, if I think you're ugly. <laughs> Come give me a kiss, babes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, whatever, like, whatever the last person you saw, and you're like, hmm, that bitch is ugly. Like, the last time you felt like that, that's how she looks. The last bitch I saw that I caught ugly in the face was just built too strong. And she had that's not her face. Well, whatever. You're just ugly, I guess. Because, yo, he did say face and then say build. I'm like, that's not the same thing. No, no, but you know no, what it really no, doesn't no, matter no, to But me. listen to what I said. I said, the last bitch I caught ugly in the face was built too strong. What was wrong with my sentence? Because ugly in the face and build yeah, it was not like, the same It was a conjunction. A bitch could be she big and have a pretty face. She was in the face and she was built. Oh, and. Big. Come oh. on. I, fam. And. You're damn. not taking it in. I said I know the, it was an and. Come on. You're not listening, fam. Okay, I apologize. I even repeated it twice. You weren't listening. So she's ugly and built bad. Come on. Yo, that's your woman. She has a billion dollars. Nah, man. Nah, nah. Because, yo, it's bad. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Big take. man thing. Big man thing. Big man thing. Big man thing. I can't be like, nah, bro. Because I'm just going to be thinking like beer malicious thoughts and bad things, bro. <laughs> You're going to cheat on her ass. Of course. This but guy like, said malicious thoughts. That's cause, crazy. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the fuck. slightest thing is going to get me vexed. <clears throat> like, the slightest thing. If we divorce, do I get like, am I, like... I don't look, Prino? bro. Or is it like we? Nah, this is just the happen. example. It's like, bro, you got right, one, one of these two shorties. Nah, 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 pick nah. one. Honestly, I probably do the bro, uh, the bro, beautiful woman because I depend on myself and like I don't know. I, 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 I I'm gonna be successful enough to like it won't bother me. I'm not gonna want somebody else's mm. money. That Billy is that Billy's a good starter pack. <laughs> you're over there rubbing chin. Nah, yeah, you're thinking over about there it. Just... Yeah. The oh, this guy's got a handful of beard, fam. He's Yo, thinking the hard. Is a starter pack, but like, see, that's know like if, if you don't care about love, you're going with the Billy, you know. So it's not even about feel? love, fam. You could love your ugly woman. What's your feelings, bro? <laughs> yeah, but like, are you gonna be, <laughs> are you gonna be rich with your ugly woman, or are you gonna? But thug are you it even rich with because your it's beautiful her bread? woman? Are you even rich if it's her bread? Well, uh, like I'm going to assume that you're going to benefit from the money or else there's no incentive for you to do this. It's not like she just, like, my wife has a billion and I'm over here fucking a working billion, hard A billion, you know what's fucked up, though? Like, a billion dollar shit gets weird because I be seeing what, like, all these billionaires be doing. They be doing weird shit. So maybe, like, the... Who you, said you have to be weird, nigga? Well, no, I'm just you saying... You think the money makes, as soon as they get the money in their account, they're just like, a lie. I got to be weird now. Like, well, fam, you're a weird nigga out. if a billion makes you weird. The weirdness was from within. The money brought it out of you. Niggas will do something strange for a piece of change. Like, you know how mans get drunk and do weird <laughs> shit? Yo, fam, it's because on the inside, you're a little bit weird. I'm not going to lie, I'm drunk, not gonna lie. I elaborate you know? because I had a conversation about people getting drunk and doing weird things. But, yo, you go first. What were you talking about? Okay, like, fuck, fam. Gets a little fire -ish. Even not even weird, but yo. you know how mans that are, like, <laughs> angry drunks? Okay. Fam, you're an angry person. Okay. Because in my experience, I ain't never seen an angry drunk that wasn't angry before we got drunk. Nigga, okay. you've been mad all day, and now you can't control yourself. Okay. That's how this shit works. Word. So the billion <laughs> dollars, <laughs> yeah, billion dollars. Now you feel it's not that you can't control yourself. It's now you feel more freedom. So it's kind of the similar. It's like it's it's kind of a, a similar effect where it's like I have so much money that nobody can tell me nothing. So now I can be as Does weird. Does she know she's ugly? I don't, I don't know. Think that matters, I, I'm not lying. I didn't even think that far ahead. I don't like, think that matters. I don't though. fucking. Know. Why does that not matter? Because it doesn't cares. matter. I, I asked if you think care, she's ugly. Man. She's day, bro, from day she one. She can think she's as beautiful as ever, but you look at her like that woman that you just described. Well, with her broad shoulders and her strong face. Whatever you think is ugly, bro, she got it all. Come to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she talks to you like that every night. Come to bed, no. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Yo, like... what? No, honestly, I, I can't have a, a someone I quantify as ugly or categorize as ugly. I can't align myself with. Like, I'd be a hoe. And I'm not trying to be a hoe like that. Like, oh, you're just in it for the change? That's a whole ass nigga, man. You know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot of women that, like, when you ask, like, 
when you ask them about like what qualities they present that would be favorable for a man or what they think like a man would want, a lot of times they talk about like, oh, a woman who's got her shit together. Don't get me wrong. You can have your shit together. Money and whatever. You can have your shit together. You can't be a fucking like dumpster fire. Like, you know, like, oh, this bitch is like in 50K in debt. She's, She's irresponsible. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be fucking retarded. But yo, nonetheless, it's like, if you're, if I think you're ugly, like, this is the word I'm using ugly. Yo, it's gonna be hard for me. Like, I, I don't know, man. Like, no, nah, because I would be, in, I would be inauthentic and disingenuous to myself. Okay, I'm gonna get back to you, but you didn't actually answer. We did a whole lot He's of like thought. describing things, but you didn't actually give. No, a, um, no, no, I'm not like that's crazy. Our, our combo went kind of like side. Because I'm just like, at that point, if I'm with the fucking the billionaire, it's like, yo, I don't even give a fuck about her. I'm just in it for the bread, no cap. Yeah, but yo, that's your I woman. feel like I know what you want to do right now. You you want half of that billion. You're going to go outside, nah, spend her I, money, and talk to next like, Yo, at that point, if it's like, if that's what I went for, it's like, what's yo, I'm just okay. trying to expand, like, my, like, what's so, yo, beneficial bro, for put me? like this, put like this. You yeah, so only what get, is more? Like, in this scenario, you got to choose one. What matters to you more? And you only benefit, fam? Like, there's a prenup, <clears> so you <throat> only get to share those luxury and Whose those riches. Whose question was this? doesn't matter. That's how I interpret it. Hold on, what's happening? I threw a prenup. I threw a prenup. Hold on, no, stop, just stop, stop, stop. Stop editing the question. <laughs> Everything's getting confusing. Listen, I just want him to answer what I asked. Bro. We can add more. We can do my question 2.0 later on. But I just want to know, like, what? where do your values lie? So he said he needs his woman to be aesthetically pleasing or else he's not involved. You, can you handle the ugly face woman for, for, for the billy? And yes, you're going to reap the benefits of the money. Like, you are going to be spending a good portion of her bread because she loves you. You know what I mean? So that, or <laughs> you're with the fucking the bad thing, but she's like, buddy. We're shaking it? No, she's shaking it. I don't know. You're doing whatever you're doing with life, but she's <laughs> fucked up. And she just comes to like, hey, I'm ass and titties over here, bro. That's all I got. You know what? And like three outfits, bro. What's going on? I might on? marry the billionaire. You feel me? Oh, you're changing your mind? Well, like, because it's like for the, like, if I could divorce. No, 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 no. Stop. We're not editing this. Like, this is a long term fucking relationship, and you get to How choose. Long? So that's, that's, long, the, that's nigga. Life. I don't know. You long? keep adding things to try and How make. Long? No. It's going to be I'm a trying significant... to make the money worth it, bro. No, it's going to be a period of time. Where it's a very big commitment for you, nigga. This might be the next ten to twenty years. You're gonna have Pitney and all that. Let me get my ugly. You're like you're my, locking in. My beautiful woman. Beautiful. You're woman, locking beautiful in with this. Beautiful woman. Me personally. Beautiful. Okay, so you're still on your side. I'm. Yeah, I'm fucking vain. You. I want to know what drives you, fam. Do you want you a beautiful woman, and she can still be smart and everything, but yo, she's broke, buddy. Like, and the work <laughs> yo, ethic bro. sucks. Okay. Work ethic sucks. No, now that's why she's broke. Now we're going with the billionaire. Yo, she might clean up the house. She might clean up the house, but yo, going out and retrieving funds. We can pay for that. She don't do that. But yo, fam, like your wife is beat. <laughs> yeah, he been knowing that. No, he picked the billionaire. I knew he was gonna do it. Anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you yo, just delaying. What are you doing? Oh, my bitch is broken, beautiful. <laughs> oh God, this fucking right. Y'all can come check me at the mansion, but uh, I will. That's we'll exactly what I'm gonna do. We'll bring, bring my beautiful. bad piece <laughs> to, the, to the, the west wing of your house. Your bitch that clapped those out here. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. I didn't say my woman was shady. I just said she doesn't have any money. <laughs> yeah, that She's lazy shady, outside fam. the house. That's okay. No, bro. Shady. She has no money because she does nothing shady. Yeah. She just stays in the house, cleans, and, and takes care of me. And we're coming to your house because you got more money than everybody else. You got more money, but yo, <laughs> we no one likes looking at you. My wife, like, nobody wants... <laughs> not a word, fam. Not a you word. You know what? No, it's, it's so fucked up, too. It's like, when your wife starts talking, man, I don't even like looking at you. She's cringy, boom. It's fine, bro. Oh, and I had one more. That just went longer than it was. That, that went long. Okay. Would you rather be the man you are now, you know what I'm saying, Sick or an nigga. ugly billionaire? Like, whatever a desk nigga is, like, you might even be short. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Yo. Yeah, just like a lesser version. How did I gain money and lose inches? What happened? Fam, fam, you can't have it all. And your would you rathers are terrible, fam. I had to spice it up. So would you rather be, as you are, same financial situation, you got to figure it out, so just be You got to keep on striving. Be ugly with more you money. Are. Or... Like, oh, basically, yeah, but, you're going to get hit by a brick, but, yo, you're going to get compensated with a billion dollars. So you look fucked up. Like, you're just not the man you were. Like, you're just, like, an inferior-looking nigga. But, but yo, the pockets up. are elite. Like, you can just buy whatever you want. I still feel like I got to be a good-looking nigga. I still feel like I have to be a good-looking Like, I can't know, like, you're already rich. You don't have to be disfigured. Like, get hit with a brick, I was exaggerating. Okay, so but well, you like, are an unattractive man. You are, like, like most, like, K, okay, if you're going on a two-man mission... And the, and the shorty says, yo, let me see your friend. Every time they send a picture of you, it's cropped. Like, like you suck. Like, they have to send a picture of you with the Lambo. 
and like a that fucking <laughs> the rat like, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yo, yo, don't no, hold on, hold on, yo, you yo. Know? Like you, they don't even send pictures. You, they send videos. Like yo, listen, I'm off, I'm off. Like <laughs> yeah. you know, that's how yo. you look. Honestly, I'm gonna have to be an attractive man just because I'm gonna be me, this nigga right here, because you know why? Self-explanatory, but I can't be ugly. I feel you. I just can't. I can't. I can't live with myself. Right and then you know what it is too? It's like, yo, bro. Even ugly niggas with all this bread and like no game. Like, do I still have the same sauce and charisma? Am I still me? What you mean? Yeah, you're just physically. You're just, yeah, you're yeah. Physically you're just not, physically. You don't have the same pull. Like you're <clears> not. You just don't present how you present now. Like you're. So just, what am I? Like a short white man, or like what? Like what's going on? Whatever you're. Like, whatever would just be an inferior version. Like, whatever you would think. If you seen ever seen a nigga outside, and you're like, how did he get that bitch? Like, you're him. You're going to just make me an imaginarily ugly nigga? That's great. Not even an example. What, you want me to start naming like, ugly yeah, niggas? Yeah, that's, nigga, that's like a little Steve wild. Harvey or something? Like, what do you look like? I didn't want to start <laughs> off today just insulting face. people. <laughs> that wasn't my objective with the question. <laughs> but if you think, Steve, clearly, you think Steve Harvey's a little he hard looks to like look Mr. at. Potato Head. All right, so Steve Harvey's a little hard to look at based on your standards. So now you look like Steve Harvey, but you got a belly. Five foot two, Steve Harvey, eh? Five foot two, you're short as well. That's crazy. Yeah. So nah, you're like, because Steve Harvey's kind of tall, right? So we're not even giving you tall. Steve Harvey in the face, five foot Nate two. Robinson in the height. Actually. Hey, question. I know it's wild. Like, it's fucked up. I'm all here like, does Madam have a small buddy, even though I'm five? I two? wasn't even getting that far. Nah, because like, yo, I'll be We're not even getting into buddy politics. We're not doing buddy politics right now, fam. That's not what we're doing. You can make whatever equipment you want. Fam, I'm not here to manage that. I'm not the best, but... Like, yo, five I'm not, two, like, just but... walking on a bitch like this is funny. But like, yo, that's not like I don't care, fam. You can have whatever you yo, want. This is what we matters just... to him. Yeah, yo, this guy's this, a fucked up guy, this fam. Is what to this him, guy's bro. a fucked up guy. You can take it anyway, but yo, my body's so sick, no? Like, <laughs> yo, like, yo, this guy's fucked. Yo, yo, because if I have the Woodrow, like, maybe we could get true ugly and short. <laughs> fam, hey, hey. <laughs> you got whatever other qualities, and you got a billion dollars. But buddy, you look like Steve Harvey in the face, and you're and you're kind of shot to your pinch. I just hope what you go for, go for door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, everything else is working how it, you want it to work, fam. Fuck, this is a hard question. Ah, you know what? On principle, I want to say I'm gonna be this nigga, but yo, for fun, let's be short Steve Harvey with a big wood. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy. I don't even. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> I don't even Yo. know. That's his answer, bro. Yo. Somehow we advanced to short <laughs> Steve Harvey <laughs> with a big one. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> These topics have my nose running. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, that's, that's where this wild, conversation bro. went. That's nuts. Okay, what bro. about you? What are you doing over there, cuz? Holy. Short Steve Harvey with a big water, right? <laughs> 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 and you got a billion dollars, bro. But or mean, you're yourself. You're just you. You got to continue life as you, so maybe maybe you'll make maybe you'll make your own billion dollars, or maybe I don't yeah, know, hopefully. you know. But, <laughs> like, <laughs> but yeah, you're starting to think about it. Like you're you're kind of f- fucking hopefully. far away from that billion, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. But, yeah but you're a little guy, bit far. You know, that guy he starts off in like he starts off in a plus and a minus. <laughs> yeah, Steve Harvey lifestyle doesn't sound too crazy. Like when you start thinking like about how far you are from that billion, you're like a lie. What's that? And my hood still good. Yo, he starts Whatever off, else, yeah. He starts off as a... Okay, fuck. I'm going to have to go with, like, the billionaire still. Sure, Steve Harvey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we, we doing it, fam. Out of, out of I'll just fucking... No offense. I'll just buy a bitch. I'm going to just buy a bitch, he says. <laughs> I've never... I, I, I'm, I'm going to just be myself. I'm going to keep it real. I never, I never pay for pussy. And nah, I'm, I'm not pretty confident. I'm fam, gonna, you know how much fam, confidence I'm going to have with my big Woodrow? Yo, that's fine, fam. It's fine. Fam, I'm, I'm pretty... I'm not, I, I'm not I'm 5'2 packing. Yeah, but Five, like... Five, two, no one's talking to me, bro. And I got a billion dollars? Yo, what? Come on, bro. A billion dollars is a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but yo, no, no, you're, you're down ugly paying. and you're short. Yeah, big, yeah, man. but yo, fam, I slap beer things with my big Woodrow because I'm ugly. Fam, first of all, you're going to catch gotta... a sexual assault charge just advertising <laughs> this. You better calm down because how can you even talk to people like that? Yo, bro? yo fam, we're doing a hypothetical. Yo, we're doing a hypothetical. Yeah, so yeah, hypothetically, you're going to do time. Oh. Like, you need to relax. <laughs> Oh, this guy just running around, yo, my buddy's big and I have money. 
<laughs> Yo, fam, you're not even appropriate for most settings. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, stay away from this guy. Yo, yeah, you're a predator. Oh, fam. Fuck. Oh, fuck, man. Like, oh, fuck, man. Patreon, Patreon. <laughs> <Yeah. Yo. laughs> That's crazy. Oh, fuck. Nah, I'm just, uh, for the hypothetical, if we're having fun, like, bro, I don't know. Like, it's not real life. I just said, what would you rather? It wasn't like just to start imagining random shit. I don't even know the fuck we got the Steve Harvey <laughs> packing <laughs> at 5'2". I don't even know yo, how we got there. I just crazy. said, yo. You're welcome to Uncommon Sense. Fuck it. App apparently, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're doing else? some Uncommon shit today. Oh, fuck. Okay, do you have anything else on your agenda? That was the extent of it. Okay, do you have anything going on? Yeah, I got a one, two. Okay, go ahead. Them. Go ahead. My apologies. So, yo, somebody asked me this. It's a bit wild, you know? <laughs> this is about to be so, crazy. Yo, the man of if what if a man sleeps naked, is he considered gay? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, your question is stupid. No, it's funny though. It's funny. It's funny, it's funny <laughs> but it's stupid. Like, nigga, no. I didn't think that was where this was going. I actually thought you were gonna have like a more graphic question. Yo. That was just funny, like. Fab, okay. is it gay? No. <laughs> like, yo, not you're in, in the all seriousness? You're in the crib vulnerable in your bed. Hey, yo, not that's why it's funny. You just sound vulnerable, like big man. Why are your cheeks all fam? Get dressed. Well, I'm too, at least bro. put on some jaws. I don't even care if man. you're sleeping. Sleep more manly. <laughs> nah, nah, at least put on some jaws. Yo, you're going to the shirt. That's the door to a big I feel like your beard doesn't even grow the same if you sleep naked. Like, I don't know <laughs> what. Yo. Your beard like, doesn't connect it. Yeah, you fucked up your testosterone a bit. Like, something didn't work right. Like, you're not a body man, but like, yo. Like, <laughs> you're not. face call, you have a big t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make you gay. I wouldn't say that, no, but it is like it made me laugh. So that's a pretty good start, okay, you know. My answer is you're not gay if you sleep naked. That's all. That's a that's a far read. It is funny. Everything about it, you're just vulnerable. You get what I'm saying? And it's loose. Like why you want your body cheeks all on your bed like that? <laughs> Yo, you know what I'm what saying? Yo, hey. I see, man like me just think like, what if someone just breaks it's into, into the, the crib or the fire alarm goes <laughs> off or something? You're, and now you're, just you're there just... out trying to figure some shit out. You know what's crazy? I even feel like trying I, to fight a bro, nigga naked, bro. No. Why are you doing nigga, this? Nigga, my brother, what the fuck is wrong? But yo, you might win the home invasion because like me personally, I don't want to rob naked. nobody that bad. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm like, no, you're bugging out. I'm gonna just cut. <laughs> <laughs> or even like, yo, fam, get dressed, bro. You're you know what's fucked up? Nah, because you know I'm handling. If a nigga chill, bro. <laughs> fucked up if like a nigga comes like boom all right kick down your door you're naked in bed and like you know what man you start pissing on the man bro it's fucked up right? actually <laughs> when i think about in reality if i kicked in your door i have a stick so like you can't piss, i'll shoot you you're not gonna you're not gonna piss on me bro <laughs> like i'll keep it real and realistically if i can't if i kicked in your door i want what i came for still so, just get dressed but like that now you're getting a bad up too i'm robbing you and i'm bad and you're like oh why are you naked <laughs> yo, idiot, I think <laughs> like yo, it's one thing to get robbed but you're weird too like i'm gonna tell people about this <laughs> 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 like you don't even know what he was doing. I was taking Fam, a I went on the craziest mission. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? Bro, I swear to God. Yeah, don't have two problems. Don't get robbed and be weird. You know Yo. what I mean? Like get okay, dressed. Go ahead. That's well, so that's like, I I think it's weird and loose. I don't think it's homosexual. Weird and and loose. like I only ever heard like women talk about like yo. Women I love, love to, to see naked. naked. Yeah, they like, like their titties you know? all frolic in the in the sheets. But then, like, I don't know. In my mind, I guess they just have like less barging, going on. Like, that's crazy. It's, that's a bit loose. It is loose. Super it's loose. loose. It's just like, yeah. oh, you're not like, ready. I, I, you're I just not know. prepared for nothing. Like, what if a fire happens? What if there's something going on? What if, like, you know, emergency? It's ah, never that hot. You got to go draw for some draws before you get out the crib? Like, <laughs> it's never that hot, though. It's never that hot to just be. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> it was crazy. I feel like sometimes, too, when you're just. Because, like, I done slept naked with, like. A woman before, you know what I'm saying? Not by myself. Yo, fam, sometimes it gets hot when you're naked, fam. You be sweating. I don't know. It's different, you know what I mean? Like, no, I, I don't. It is, fam. I just think it's, it's very different, just, fam. Too vulnerable, just not fam. Really I, you know, I don't like too, fam. It's like, I don't like getting up. You know, you got to wake up, go take it, and your buddy's just swinging in the morning. Oh, fam, it's like, it's too loose, bro. You got to have everything kind of like secure. You know <laughs> yeah, what you know what's funny? Like, I'm not even comfortable with my own nakedness. <laughs> 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 like, I see myself, I'm like, get dressed, bro. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> So now I'm just like, yo, you sleep yo, like that? that like, sounds great. That sounds funny still. I'm not oh, no, because, yo, he said that. I'm like, yeah, bro. Like, I don't like it. <laughs> just wake up, buddy. Just swinging. <laughs> yeah. just and then walk to the kitchen. I don't know. Like, just I feel like I'd wake kitchen. up disappointed. Like, I went to bed like this. Like, I'm loose. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> like, yo, bro, I need to fix up. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't like it. I don't know. Nobody will. Yeah, nobody don't, will. Don't, don't sleep naked, bro. Sleep more badly. I don't know. <laughs> yo, sleep more badly is crazy. <laughs> yo, sleep more badly is crazy. Do you have anything else on your agenda? Okay. Would you rather be Neo in the Matrix? Or Will I, I, Smith in Men in Black both involve giving up your current life to find the truth. Like, it's fucked up. My first response was Neo in the Matrix because, like, yeah. nigga, I am Neo. But, like, 
Will Smith is black. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm black too. You know what I'm saying? But yo, Will, uh, I'm going Neo still. I'm, I'm Neo in the Matrix. Sure, it's okay. It's Neo. A I'm the chosen it's one. Tough, it's a tough one because Neo's a sicker man, but he lives a shitter life. Like I'll keep it real. <laughs> day to day, fam, you're just in the fight. Not like, as, every day, fam. Oh, yeah. Like Will really Smith fucking. has personal time when he, he leaves has work. Trendy. Oh, yeah, they're having, like... You haven't said... Like, I'm going to keep it a buck, that. fam. I'll probably be Will Smith, because, yo, fam, I got to fucking, like... I have my own have life to live all, after work. Have you seen all of the Men in Blacks? I'm going to go based on the Men in Blacks that I've seen, because I haven't seen all of them. That was a really <laughs> fucked up way to three. answer my I think question. Only Bro, three. the answer is no, I have not, okay. but I'm going to go based on <laughs> what like I've seen. Oh, okay. And what I've seen, yo, Will Smith and Men in Black had a better lifestyle than fucking Neo. Neo's life was just dark and gloomy. Like, the man, like, you need to bathe. And he's bald. Like, your clothes look dirty, fam. You're like, but your man can do beer things, fam. The man's the chosen bro, one, bro. You're eating like but porridge when every day. He's the thing. He's the chosen one back in the regular. Fam, nah, but, then, fam, but ask yeah. yourself this: chosen for what, fam? Yo, fam, he's, he's fighting for the thing, bro. I don't even want to fight like that, bro. Uh, so you, so you're over there being Will Smith. I'm Will Smith in, Yo, in at least the there? first Men in Black, bro. I'm gonna be Will still. I feel like. Neo had to give up a lot. Fam. Yo, buddy, his whole life was just sacrifice. Like, after know, we it. took that pill, that was it. I'm linking up with Morpheus and the dogs. Them don't even play with me. Hey, I man. feel you, Phil. That was all I had for that. Oh, dude, that was crazy. You guys like fully. I had such a good transition prior, and you guys all fucked it up. Yo, all. cause yo, the <laughs> questions weren't even profound, but the answers like got deep. I don't know why. Well, you want to ask people about ugly people, man? Right? Yes, wanna, ugly then is. Then you want to tell me I'm short? Being ugly is more than skin would. deep, apparently, fam. Short Requires a lot of thought. Big Wood. Yeah, that advanced crazily. <laughs> crazy. That's they had me talking thoughtish, bro. And over here, oh, that was, yeah, that was crazy. I didn't even mean you to You just hoard it out for the internet. Yo, it was crazy. <laughs> I, I'm not really like, I'm not short Steve Harvey. <laughs> you already said it. They heard you. He's exactly who he said he is. <laughs> Snake was aggressive. Don't, don't let this guy cover his tracks. Snake enough. was ag aggressive. <laughs> Yo, if I'm a billion dollars. <laughs> Five, I'm, two, and I'm packing. <laughs> Yo, that's all that matters. That's all this guy is, bro. He's a meathead, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking crazy. Anyways, okay, moving forward, moving forward. You guys ready? Yeah, to yeah. Forward? What, what's next on the oh, agenda? Fuck. Okay. So, in recent news, Netflix has been uh, doing casting calls for all the reality shows they want to make in Canada. Mm. It was funny. In the article I seen, it said Canada and Torontonians, as if Torontonians were a specific subgroup of Canadians. They know what's up, bro. Yeah, it's kind of funny. They it was kind of funny. I seen it. it. made me laugh. Because there is Canada and then there's Toronto. Right, right, right. Since we're talking about soulmates and love and then being a midget and shit. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> just stupid, bro. I throw it in there. Boom. A lot of people have been actually hitting me up and asking about Love is Blind Canada. Are you guys familiar with Love is Blind? I've talked about this in the past with you, Nick. Are you guys familiar with the concept I, oh, of Love I is really, Blind? I'll go over it's it. It's just the convo that we had we'll about the show, but I haven't... Oh, uh, gosh. I don't believe I I've watched I get, it. Like, you know, I, I so you didn't never see it. Like, bro, it's been on for like six years or some shit. You guys never seen an episode? No, I don't give a fuck about TV. Yeah, I'm not going to uh, watch. You niggas, okay, so Love is Blind is a, is a reality dating show where people, they host a seg oh, fuck what a series of dates but they can't see each other so everybody's in these pods and all of a sudden you build this and establish a connection on the basis of personality and emotional vulnerability only right that being said they make a decision that they would like to either proceed to you know advance this connection and marry the individual that they were talking to behind these pods totally marry well they engage them right okay. and so they propose to that individual and then in the process of like their engagement they actually meet each other spend time with each other it's like hyper speeding a relationship to seeing if it'll work for marriage now in the past there have been a few couples who have actually gone through the show gone through the process and remain married to this day if i'm not mistaken <laughs> you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. like thus far kind of proving i don't know if it's the show's vi uh, credibility or if the actual like social experiment aspect of it works but the whole notion of it is like is it possible to establish love without actually physically seeing it hence the term love is blind mm -hmm. now that being said would the man them ever consider themselves to do something like this no okay no fuck up I didn't even like your answer. Okay, anyways. I, I feel like, like this is like a like this is like 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 a jail call. <laughs> like you're that's just... crazy. That's <laughs> crazy. That's a that's PTSD. Like, <laughs> but yo, in his in 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 his fucking defense, I ain't never done time, but I did consider. I'm like, yo, there is people out there that just fucking like they have a whole like. Is there like a whole okay, so yo, service for the man Let me backtrack. Let me backtrack back before we go into this rabbit hole. Before we go into this rabbit hole, I was gonna ask. But they could still see each other. In his example, yeah, they could exactly. See each other. That's what I was so. It actually, no, <clears throat> we're coming at it, different. nigga. Free, free yourself from jail. Yeah, it's it's different. Free yourself, free yourself. I tried, fam. I tried to help. You know? Free yourself. You guys free? You guys out the bin? <laughs> I've been free my whole okay. life, still. Cause remove the shackles, bro. <laughs> anyway, 
<laughs> my initial question before I pose the advancements, do you believe the concept of love being blind? Do you believe it is possible for people to establish a real loving connection with one another despite physical appearance? Despite physical appearance. Yeah. Okay, you go first. You're quick at answer. I'm coming to you. You are fuck repending. <laughs> See in your eyes. See that? <laughs> go ahead. That's so crazy. Why do you it's like just a touch base? You said yes, nigga. Yeah. Why? Why did you say yes? Uh, just cause shackles on or shackles off at this point. <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Shackles on. Oh, oh, shackles, shackles on. Shackles on at that point because oh, it's like, I just feel like when you're obviously if it's up to you, you'd probably want to meet them first and get that connection. Okay, but it's like <laughs> obvi- not- like obviously, <laughs> ob- but it's like this case it's like you were you can you can build a different relationship when you don't physically see somebody and you like if I'm writing somebody a letter. You, okay, in this situation, you actually talk. Okay. Continue what you're saying, actually. I don't even want to cut like you off. If I'm, like, I can build, like, like, I can build a strong connection writing to somebody. Then... So, pen pal. Yeah, like, pen pals and stuff. Like have you I've had seen, a pen pal before? Have I had one before? Have no. you experienced this connection? Not necessarily. Like, it was you like... You had a pen pal before? Me? No. I remember in school, they made us do that shit. Yeah, that shit wasn't real. Yeah, like, I, I, seen, I seen people I was with do that shit, and it's like, they were really... And they are really getting emotionally involved? Yeah, like, bro, like... They were hold really. On, hold on. This is when you were in jail. Yeah, because it's like the girls oh, yeah. would be able to write like letters yeah. to the guys, and it's like it's kind of like on like the wall, and like you kind of like pick it up, and you can write her back. But, but like I also see niggas like see each other. Though. Nah, they don't see each other. On oh, this one, in this okay. Because right now you don't know. All you know is she's in jail. Okay. And but like you're you you can write. Oh, to you a, guys are writing to another inmate. Yeah, you're writing oh, to another okay, inmate. Okay, you know okay, what I'm okay. saying? And then it's like. Bro, I've seen people come with like real connections, like yo, bro, this girl is she's really for me, and it's like they're just writing. And so they have never seen these individuals. Never seen. Okay, boom. Let me apply it back to the subject matter which I was initially referring to. So that being said, do you feel that the fuck? I, I want to come out of jail, but you're talking about in jail anyway. Just because that, that's where that that's where your recommend your yeah that's where that, that experience that came from. Okay, like, I understand it. Do you feel that the connection established that way without seeing each other and strictly emotional, whether it be through pen or through fucking voices or whatnot? Do you feel that's a stronger connection? Yeah, I feel like you're more in tune with your actual feelings when you write down something. Okay, cool. And so, that being said, in terms of your your whole perspective of um, the connection and the strength of it, on the basis, like I said, being blind. Can you see yourself doing something like this? <clears throat> and taking it seriously. Like, you, would you really be able to give of yourself and be vulnerable with somebody that you haven't seen, but you're establishing a connection with, like, via, you know, voices or, or pen pal or whoever the, the, the mode of communication may be? Free me, no. <laughs> free me, no. Jail me, yeah. Okay, why not free you? Because I have an option. I feel like I have options to, to, to go and see somebody. Like, I don't have to settle for that. So you don't think you are able to establish a connection with somebody you I can't see? I just feel like I don't want to. Okay, aside, but do you think it's possible? Do I think it's possible? Me? Yeah. No. No. I, I, I'm, I think I'm too, like, antisocial to do that. But the whole premise of it is to let down all your guards and be vulnerable and actually I, share. I know what I'm saying, but you're asking me personally. I can't do that. So you would never apply or be on a show such as Love is Blind to actually find some kind of love? I just don't want to be lied to. The- <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, yo, like, honestly, like, if you have a sexy voice and I'm like, holy really fuck, bro, shorty's voice is sex. And I see you and you're not looking like, you know, like your voice. Yeah. I'll, so I'll, be, like, a, I'll be like... What if she says she looks like Megan Fox? And then you see her and she looks like Megan Knotts. Then she lied. And she's never who she says she was. She's a fucking liar. And she, <laughs> she's a liar, okay? And this whole fucking life writing was a lie. I should have never done this. Biggest <laughs> mistake. So you're not auditioning is what I'm gathering. That's because she... If, but that's, if she looks like Megan Fox, she, if she says she looks she, like that, she, she does says it. She says she looks like Megan Fox. So she's not even being truthful in this letter. She's not she, even no, no, truthful. she believes it. She believes she looks like Megan Fox. Don't ever think. Don't think she's not being truthful. Don't do that. Don't, yeah, yeah, she yeah, identifies yeah. as Megan Fox? That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, do come that. on, come on. Don't do that. You know you don't identify as Megan Fox. <laughs> yo, I didn't say it. <laughs> so, yo, if you're going to lie to me and tell me that right. and set me up for a fucking disappointment. <laughs> so Cousin's on Love is Blind or he's not? I'm not. 
they're offering yeah. you a bag, 50 grand to be on the show. Are you taking it or not? Yeah, we could do that. Okay, cool. And you have to, like, for the love component, you have to actually do a segment where you stay with her for, like, two weeks or a month or something like you that. see how your shit just... No, this, this nigga no, is not... that's part of the show. It's part of the show. It's not part... It's I not me... for two weeks? Yeah, because I think they have to test so the they have relationship a honeymoon stage, now. which is about a 10-day period. They have a honeymoon stage. now, after they reveal... Uh, each other to e- like they're yeah. gonna reveal you guys to each other. Yeah. Then they're gonna actually see like how you guys does this life. relationship work. So that fifty k, I gotta like. You just gotta. I gotta make it through the whole thing. Yeah. And marry her. Yeah. And marry her. Yeah. Or you got you no, at least gotta make you at least make it to the altar. You gotta at least make it to the altar. You make it to the like I swear I swear you have to. You can say no. It's your decision. You can say no. We're making it to the altar. But yo, you look like a complete dickhead because you went through and played with this girl's feelings. But she told me she was Megan Fox. What is the duration of this? It's like a month's time. All of this is in 30 days? I believe so. It's really hyper expensive. Like, I think they date. They, 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 Buddy, they, that's an easy They do pod dating. Care. Are you yeah. stupid? Yeah, let's go to this altar, babe. I think what? they do. So they do right to her face. For pod dating, bands? I believe, is about 10 day period. And then they have a honeymoon period, about 10 days. And then they do the live-in period, 10 to like two weeks. Buddy, if, if that's what they're... T- Maybe like 40 So yeah, do you yeah, feel yeah. you can fall in love with somebody in 30 days? No, nigga. I'm shallow. <laughs> go ahead. Same shit. I'm not. I'm not doing that. That shit can't work. Thirty <clears throat> days. Nah, I. Like, uh, uh. like you know what I'm saying. Like thirty days is quick. Because it's like I meet her. How long and for? But you have to what? understand. You have to understand. So like you're talking about me. The premise of the show is actually people who are looking and want to settle down and are looking for this. But I feel so like, it's like these yo, people, people aren't who are social, looking for th- no, not necessarily. If you watch the show, they're like people who've just tried to very whether you've done online dating, you just have been unsuccessful in the industry or whatever it may be. There's a whole myriad of reasons as to why people don't fucking think, but they actually. I think all the reasons are dysfunctional. Yeah. If you're not in it for the money, which is technically that's a dysfunction too, because you're not really legitimately looking for like. I feel like Like, that 50k is to like incentive. The 50k is more enticing. I was just throwing that out. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know. I don't even know how much they get paid. I was just throwing it out to see if that changed you, because you know, I know because the no. Some throw some money in there, you might do it. (laughs) Like, (laughs) like you k, like even if they don't get money, then yeah, they could like maybe. Maybe if they want to like go and build a career, like doing something afterwards, they get more exposure because like a reality show. Exactly. But, like for me personally, I would even though okay, I'm on YouTube and try to do my thing. Like I wouldn't do that for exposure. I would do it for fifty bands. If you're telling me it's like thirty to sixty days or some shit, Let's and I this. get fifty bands, I just gotta tell like yo, oh, I go and I'm here for the change. You done though, and I and I walk out the church. I don't give a fuck who thinks I'm a dickhead. I just got fifty bands. I'm up. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even. I, I don't care. So yeah, I would do it if there if that was the figure that they're offering. Count me in. If we're just talking about some exposure and potentially love, like buddy, I'm not gonna fall in love with a thing that I can't see. That's an idiot thing. Like if I was, if, like you said, locked up and you, and that's all that you have. That's what I'm saying. When that's all you have, it's almost like the human body is gonna continue to seek what it wants, even if it's an alternative. It'll be like, all right, well, fuck, we'll take this because it's better than nothing, you know. But when you're in the free world and you have options, you're gonna want an an a relationship in its entirety. Why the fuck would I even want to build a bond with somebody I have not seen when aesthetics are so important to me? Like, like think about it. I, I don't do know, that. Shorty. I don't. I haven't seen. Shorty. <clears throat> like, what's the time period of like? Like, I don't when, even care what the time period. I is. know, but it's like okay, boom. So, yo, question, question. Obviously, you wouldn't know. But what if she turns out to be fucking super guan and you've established an amazing connection that you would never be able to do so if you had seen her and you had met each other traditionally? What if we win the lottery tomorrow? Fuck you. Yeah. All right, I'll just check. Cool. I'll, I don't just know. Check. I'll just check. I'll just I'll just check. check. I'll just check. <laughs> so niggas start gambling over here. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> I was just checking. All right. Can't tell the last time I bought a lottery gambling. ticket, buddy. So same thing. Like, I'm not Because yo, there I'm not going to act like, fucking, yeah, that's it. You know? For the, if, like, you guys apparently have never seen the show. The people that they have on the show are, aren't necessarily unattractive. You get what I'm saying? Like, there is a certain standard, but, like, there have been instances where the gal and them are a little underperforming in certain... Like, men have been surprised before. There's women out there Vice that versa may too. not be ugly, but they're not what I'm looking for. Okay. So if she does not... Uh, if I'm not attracted to her, if she does not incite some kind of feelings when I look at her, I'm not going to have any desire to pursue anything with this woman. I just don't... That is part of my fucking requirements All right, for so love a is not blind for you. Oh no, that shit can see. Okay, love is not blind <laughs> for you. No, I'm trying. To I was see. just wondering because niggas had called me and asked me if like they should do it. Like man, I was like, yo, ex, should I should I, should I audition for Love Is Blind? I don't Where, think I've tried. It would that depend much. on what that man's intentions are. I don't think I failed that much in the dating life to do that. That too, like if you're like, is he trying to 
have a career in fucking social media or something like that? Yo, these are questions if, for him. Yeah, but that's like yeah, 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 just to answer like the general question of is this even like a feasible decision? Yeah, because like, all of a sudden you come, you get catapulted into being a yeah, you get thrown figure. into the spotlight, yeah. and you can do a lot with that. Like even those guys that did Jersey Shore and shit, like a lot of them went on to have like Other their careers own careers after that. They yeah. made a lot of money in that. They live a good life, you know. So if you're gonna leverage uh, that into like a career, do like, you think? Okay, okay that, that's if. So, but yo. if you're looking for love, if you're like, yo, I want to find me a woman, mm. that is not where you go. So yo. Flip the script. Is there any reality show that you would actually be a part of, like um, fucking Squid Games or like uh, Big Brother or like fuck it, yeah, Squid Games or Big Brother? Um, I would first of all it would depend on the money because I don't really want to do a reality show. Hundred hundred bands. Okay, so hundred bands. I would do one of the competitive ones. Like what? Like yo, I remember there's this one show on fucking MTV, and it was like they had to do like beer challenges. And Is it the obstacle course, like MXC? It was like it wasn't MXC, <laughs> but it was like yo, they split into I think teams. It was like a great and, race or something. And it was like, like no, that. it wasn't a great race. Oh. Fuck, I forgot the name of it, fam. The, the, the uh the gladiator. Like they would even like I have would do them. That. Uh, dude, like, but it would be like similar shit, you know. So it's like they almost like fly them to like tropical places. So you live in this like sick like mansion, like, like survivor, in a tropical oh, place. Survivor. But then every day or every other day, or whatever they have to do these challenges. I think I know, and they're like different. But they're like teams, physically right? demanding challenges, you know. So you got to be in shape. Like everybody that's there is like athletic and shit. Like so, like <clears throat> that as a concept was just cool. Like I even like watching it because like if that's actually reality, like these niggas are really competing head to head. Most reality shows are somewhat fabricated and scripted. They add drama to it. To make it entertaining and like I'm not really into All like right. the what about you? you Any know? reality? So like you didn't answer Squid Games? You join it? I don't even No? Okay. Yeah, I would I would do something like that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. What about, about you? Dying? <laughs> um any any show I would Any work? type of reality show. Would you would would you, would you would you would you do it? Yeah. What would you do? What reality show growing up? Anything? Like before I I would have done like Man Tracker. Man Tracker. What's that? I don't know. So like uh, this nigga, hun, like, bro, it basically, it's like, there's like a map or some shit. Oh, like you gotta that. find somebody, and you gotta like, but it's you and somebody <laughs> the else. Name sound crazy. It's, Why for the man tracker? Oh, like, you have to hide from the man tracker, and he finds you. And he's on a horse, yes. right? Yo, I, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I seen that I one. <laughs> so yeah, nigga yeah, on a horse. If the man him said, "Yo, I'll give you a hundred bands, hide, <laughs> hide from, from this, this nigga. Guy. Yo, fam, <laughs> let's go, let's try yo, that. That looks sick. Yo, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, I'll do that. That one's sick. You know what I'm saying? Like these niggas, I was like, I'm like, bro, we're not sleeping. Because yo, fam, he has to catch you too. Yeah, so he can all even see you. But yo, if you get away. You got away, bro. You know? The episode, the man's on the cliff. The man's like with the banana. Is it like a time limit? Don't yeah. have to stay yeah, away yeah, from no. a period of time. That one time. looks sick, though. Man tracker, that one. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, man, yeah. I'm not doing any of the fuckery ones. Like too hot to handle. Love Island. Fam, I don't right like now. the fuckery stuff. Oh, I'm, I'm not just into it. I just want to throw it out there. Man tracker, it's like I'm. I accomplished something. That's what I'm saying. That's why I picked like yo the athletic type shit. I would do that. Wow. Have you ever seen Naked and Alone? That's a eat that thing. Because, yo, man yo, tracker, I just get to keep on like, my clothes. That sounds like the question I asked before. <laughs> 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 I like, so I'm going to sleep naked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's a game on TV. That's just like, yeah, you're loose. Naked and low sounds vulnerable. Yeah, that's a loose TV show still. Yeah, it's one where you go, you're completely naked and left in a forest and you have to fend for yourself. I just don't what? even know why yeah, I can't sorry, wear my body. Like, 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 why yo, can't I have draws? They're just testing niggas' limits these days. Even like native mans in the bush have draws. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I can't know. have draws? This is too leaf? much. I can't get a little leaf. We've been something. advanced from this for a long time, bro. No, I feel you. I feel you. Anyhow, I'm moving on. That was just my curiosity in terms of the thing. Well, take the stage. Go ahead. Oh, oh, you want me to present some things? Absolutely. All right, bro. I have some things, some things. Let them know, bro. Let them know. Tell them how you feel, man. Uh, oh, hold on. Did you even answer? Would you do it? No, uh, not Love is Blind. I'd probably do like a reality show of some variety. Um, Mind Tracker sounds kind of cool, so I might do that. But like, would you do any of the like the fuckery ones though? Like the ones where like what like what's a like, there was a Jersey like show or the handles. ones where, I don't even know too hot to handle. Is that where they Love live Island. in the crib? I don't like Big Brother. Love Island's a like, I know what Big Brother. Is. I know it's scandalous, but I think it's kind of like what Love Islands are you saying? Yeah, 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 yeah there's yeah. like a lot of like yeah the ones. scandalous ones. Are you into some scandalous? Reality? Nah, because I'm like bro, I'm not a fuck nigga, and like you have to kind of be like a fuck nigga to be on that shit, like to be super on it, bro. And like I don't know, it's you just, wouldn't you wouldn't like be a fuck nigga like like for the strength of the podcast, like for the mandem. Oh, this nigga said for the... You know what's fucked up? On the dolo? Like, like for the man, I'm like, would you do it for... <laughs> yeah. Like, yo, somebody's like, yo, X, I think you'd be a good fit for the fuckery TV show. And like, yo, you know, you'll get a lot of views for the podcast. Are you, you on fuckery? You know, if you call me and say, yo, cuz, I'd be like, I think you should do it. <laughs> yo, that's... <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, it's, you know it's fucked up? As he's on the phone, he's getting another call. Like, hold on a second. It's you on FaceTime. Just already looking in the camera. Like, Frying hey, fish. Hey. <laughs> you know what I would do? Yeah. You know what cuz would do. You know what that's fucked up? <laughs> a nigga, yo, fuck right. For the podcast and for the sake of like the mat, like, yo, it's crazy. The matter for greater good. I didn't even say for your own exposure. Matt said for the dogs? For the dogs. Yo, that's crazy. For the dogs, I would have to, but like, yo, I don't respect. Like, But you don't respect the overall aesthetics. No, because, bro, I have this thing called integrity, which a lot of people on these shows don't have. Yo, there is no integrity on these <laughs> yeah, shows. Yeah, right? I, I just come custom stock with some integrity, the man right? there sucking face with Bear Gal. Yo, oh. integrity might get you kicked bro. off the show. That's what I'm saying. They might just think I'm too real of a guy. Call you in the office like, yo, fam, you look too proud on and there, if a man try, Yo, bro, I'm not even like, I'm not even into these reality show fights. Like, if a man tries to have a reality show, really legs, thump off a man on TV. Fam, yeah, eggs is testing those bro. legs, fam. But yo, you know what? You might go viral for being a real nigga. Like, yeah, I, I got kicked off in three days. But yo, fam, you I know who I am. You know how I'm rocking. <laughs> and yeah, I kicked off a man's face. So what I do? Yo, I don't know. I just I see this reality show, fam. I don't know. I watch grown man cry big tears big on these tears. shows. Yeah, but and I also like, feel like you'll also like to take a man's bitch. <laughs> Yo, fam, you're going to cause the tears and the fights. They won't even be fake. You're going to get another nigga kicked off because he's really going to cry. Right, he's really right going to swing on you. Like, like, I, mean, I feel like you'll enjoy that. He's going to be in the fucking the little solo videos just venting to the world yeah, about you, don't you know fam. Like, if a girl's crying, you're like, baby, girl, we crying for <laughs> There's something about this ex yeah. guy. I just don't trust him. Bro, I'm yo, telling you. Oh, the man, we're full of fuck. If it's a contestant show, like if they're trying, like, yo, man's going to build an alliance and kick you off. I fam. know, fam. Big brother. Because they know, like, this guy's trying to fuck our bitches. Bro. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely trying <laughs> like, to do that. Like, they're both threatened. Like, there's two separate mans <laughs> in separate relationships talking about, yo, we have to protect our shorties, bro. <laughs> like, this guy's coming. <laughs> 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 you're gonna get kicked off the island, fam. Yo, you're like, it was fucked up. They nah. do fucked up shot that show, like bring a nigga back three weeks later. Fam, yeah. they, you know what they did? That's they the, brought and that's the nigga that's oh, this guy, we, we got this guy out of here. Fam, they brought in one case of dragon stout, and this guy got kicked off, fam, because he couldn't contain himself, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's Two red dragon boy. stouts in a spliff. He starts introducing himself to people's girlfriends, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Live on TV. Like, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah, we've yeah. met. They've been in the crib fucking six weeks. Niggas talking about, I don't think we met. This guy, <laughs> brought, uh, this guy brought psychedelics on the fucking show. It's crazy. <laughs> this guy's guy a bowl of mushrooms <laughs> in the middle of the function, fam. They said, yo, no, no drugs on the show. You're out of pocket. You're going to get kicked off of reality TV. But I You're not feel? even fit for it. Holy fuck. That would give this nigga so, you know, I think he would like to take a nigga's bitch on camera, like. That's <laughs> crazy. You're inappropriate still. Yo, bro, I didn't say nothing. I already know how your reality TV career is going to go, fam. And it's I devious. Said nothing, bro. <laughs> Not a damn word I said. I've just smiled and laughed. Fam, you let down your dread city and I saw the real you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, fam, I'll sue my regions, eh? <laughs> I oh, saw the fam, real you. I know what it is. Oh, the moving on, fam. Moving on. Okay, well, I asked okay. you for questions. You're over. I got put in a hot seat. Crazy. Yo, I had to ask you your question. We didn't complete the round, you know? I suppose. Okay, okay. So what do we have on the agenda? What do you have let on the know, agenda? Let us know, man. Let us know, apparently. Well, fuck. fuck. Apparently, we did kind of ask some of the questions already. All right, let's see. All right. So, yo, what would you do if you're if you found out like your wife didn't find you attractive no more so like maybe like <laughs> like you <laughs> no nah, that's a real thing that's a real thing sorry real so thing. i didn't even mean to laugh she find me yo but it's a real no thing yeah, yeah yeah hear me out so i so, said let's say you guys been married maybe you're like 10 <laughs> years in and like i guess like you're just not up to the standards that you used to uphold like i don't fucking know or okay so basically where the question comes from before you answer i was watching um some random podcast on youtube i forgot the nigga's name or such shout about whatever so basically, the lady called in, and she said, <laughs> "I don't even mean to laugh, but like when I watch it, that's why I laugh." Also, yo, this sucks. Yo, don't laugh, man. Like, I don't, I I don't mean to laugh at her pain, but sometimes the pain is funny, fam. Like I don't know, but no. she was just like, "Yo," she basically overheard her husband on the phone with one of his dogs talking about like. I guess she put on a couple pounds and like he's not that excited oh, so about it. Him about himself. Yeah, and I think maybe there's like a young thing that comes to his work and he's more interested in that right now. Like I uh he didn't mention actually cheating or doing anything. So all he was just saying is like, I like how the new thing looks. Young he's and giving fresh. giving her too much praise. And yo, like you know, my old woman over there, she's looking like my old woman. You know what I mean? So she called into the show, and I guess this guy gives people life advice or whatever. 
And she's like, yo, how do I navigate this? Like, I found this guy's over there. And, and I think he even threw in a couple jokes. I think the man were laughing at her, too. I don't like, yeah. Like, <laughs> oh, she did, yo, what do you hear? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yo, it was one of those ones, like, I had it playing, but, like, I'm cleaning up the crib, like, like vacuum or something. It's like, I'm chiming in, chiming out. And I'm pretty sure at one point, he's like, she sh he shouldn't be laughing at you with his friends. Like, I, yeah, like, yeah, I feel yeah. like I heard that They've part, been doing know? this. Yeah, so I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yo, the man were scandalous, bro. Yo, fam, I'm just in my living room, like, this is rough, bro, you know? You heard and then I just thought, like, yo, how would I feel? You know, like, how would I feel if, like, I overheard my woman just being less than satisfied with me? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, just, I just stumbled across the truth. Like, fuck, fam. Like, my physique sucks. Emotional like, damage. Yo, I swear. Because you go first. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't even know. It just, yo, fam, you was pretty confident you go in you going so first, as you know. Bro, if I, if I walk in, she's just speaking less about me? Yeah, so she doesn't know that you overheard the convo. You've confessed this in private on the internet somehow. Mm. I'm know. packing, bro. I'm leaving, fam. You're packing? You're married, eh? They're married. I'm still... And I'm assuming leaving. they have Pitney and everything. So hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me if your wife doesn't find you attractive where you're packing, you're leaving? You're a coward. You're and gonna... two, the man referenced her putting on weight. So I don't think he's like, yo, this bitch has always been ugly her whole life. Nah, she just I got I think slapped. it's like, yo, I just don't really like what she's dealing with. And then there was the young, fresh thing that popped up on him. And he's like, I kind of like that But package. yo, fam, like, first of all, she's... So yo, there's a young nigga that comes to her workplace... Nah, I'm, and I'm, he's I'm you know he's worth a couple of looks. <laughs> Cause he's jealous, I'm eh? jealous. How jealous are you? What's your next move? He's leaving. He packing. Are you leaving? Bank. Like you just you're a wife. You're leaving your wife. You're gonna get divorced because she doesn't find. Not getting divorced. I'm leaving for the night. I'm leaving for the night. I'm leaving for. A couple. Okay, okay. I'm leaving for a night. So like, what's back. your ultimate? Right, so like, ultimately, what are you doing with this woman? Yeah. After how do you, how do you address this? How are you navigating this situation? Yeah. I'm about to get sexy again. <laughs> All right. How's that? What does that entail? Yeah. I'm gonna go to the gym. And I'm gonna fucking just you know just work on myself, but she's on timeout, no cap. So like even so, if the first thing you 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 have taken responsibility for the problem. You're like, yo, I need to improve my performance. Yeah. But how do you navigate her feelings? Like, are you gonna address her? Like, yo, no. I heard what you said the other night. I'm not addressing. You know what I'm her. saying? I'm not addressing her. Cause are you are you mad? Like this. Are you are you mad at her? Am I mad at her? Yeah. Or do you think, yo, she's just keeping it real? I'm disappointed that she's just clowning me in front of her bread, like to her bread. Remember, I don't know what the joke was. I left the room when the, the joke was made. Yeah, like this. Like, I just heard the man say he shouldn't be joking with his friends. I'm like, yeah, yeah you but probably whatever shouldn't. Whatever it is, I'm not laughing. <laughs> so like, <laughs> yeah, she wasn't. She yeah, wasn't like, laughing. Yeah, like, you know those ones? So it's like, I feel like. Yeah, but it's something I feel you like you're not though. really respecting me because, like, I'm more like, you know, like. But remember, gonna... just being fair, this is. She's talking to her brethren. So, like, you know you talk to your brethren about some intimate stuff. Yeah, but I also You might even make fun of your girlfriend to your brethren. Never just... Not without Maybe checking not my looks. surroundings. I've never been with a woman that I think is ugly, but I've definitely made fun of my girlfriends to the madam because it's like, yeah, buddy, you but do like, funny shit. I got to make fun of you sometimes. Okay, but it's like, it's different. Like, if she's been like... You know those ones where it's like somebody could joke with you and then, like, now it's like... Okay, you're now you're talking to your brother about something I didn't even know that, that that you guys talk about. Like if you've been saying to me like, oh, like babes are fat, like you know you're putting on weight, but now it's like I don't know you've been thinking like this. I believe and then you're talking to your brother. Yeah, like, I don't think that she was aware of his feelings before this. I don't think they have the type See, of relationship. Now I feel like then I feel like. So you're unaware. You're blindsided. This is your first time discovering that she no longer finds you attractive right now, and it like. It's because you kind of let yourself go, whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. you know? I'm going to go get myself in shape. I'm not going to tell her shit, though. I'm just going to... So you're going to go stun on her? Or are you just showing up at the crib one day, shirtless and greased up with your chest out? I feel like a bit of both. I wish nigga I fought with it. I feel like a That's bit of both. That's funny as hell. And I got to remind her reminder who's dicking her down and who's... You know what I'm saying? I got to remind her who's So ultimately, sexy. you want to fix the problem for yourself and continue loving your woman and make sure she's satisfied with, with everything. Yeah. I feel like... That's something I should be doing. Like, you know what I mean? I'm trying to keep the spark in the relationship or something. Okay? Let's say you Especially go. Especially if I know I might be slacking too. Okay. So let's say you go and you make the improvement. Six months later, everything's on point. She's she's happy. You can even tell the way she's giving you some attention. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You like what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Would you reveal to her like, hey. Bitch, I heard what you I said. I heard that shit you said. Yeah, I would. Yeah, after I gave her some sick dick. <clears throat> After you improve the thing, they yeah, be like, yo, I, I know what you like said, the, it. After I give her the sake, they it's like, you know why I'm like this. Like, you know what I'm <laughs> like, that, you caused I'll, this. Hey, this yeah, is what like, you wanted? Then I'll tell her. But like, through the whole process, like, nah, she going to be clueless. Okay, you're going to wait until you're like full-fledged final form. Yeah, because I don't want to like, half-ass you, you know? I don't want to be like... Super Saiyan. 
Yeah. I don't want to be like, okay, I'm going to come back sexy and three months later, I'm still not sexy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you can't do that. Don't do that. So, and then the young boy at, at the work is somehow he's getting hotter and hotter by the day for her. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm not trying to hear this. Like, <laughs> hey, uh, oh, what are you asking me? What's the question? Same question. So, you find out that your wife no longer finds you attractive. Um, she thinks you kind of let yourself go. Well, if it's true and, and I a, actually there's did There's a let young my... nigga that comes to like her workplace. Put like this, put like this. If I actually did let myself go in this situation, because remember, there's two very, like, she thinking I let myself go, where it's like, I could be thinking I'm the best, like, you know, like, not like me, I'm not letting myself go. I just know the standard that I hold myself to. You get what I'm saying? So if I'm maintaining a standard that I'm okay with, but she no longer finds me attractive, well, now we're not in alignment. You get what I'm saying? Whereas if I agree with her and I'm like, I didn't let myself go, well, then, yo, then I need to step my shit up. You get what I'm saying? But if I think there's nothing wrong, in fact, that I like if I'm okay with my appearance, in fact, if I'm happy with my appearance and you no longer find me attractive for what, it, like, let's say it's my hair or let's say it's something like, like, oh my God, like, but I'm fucking with it. Now we have a little bit of contention in our dynamic. If you understand what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. If I agree with her, if I actually did, like I'm a fat fuck now. When you met me, I had the six pack going in. I was, I was moving like a guy before, you know, locks are dripping. Now they're looking like Wheezy's locks. Like it's not even sick. <laughs> Like, you know, <laughs> like, I, I couldn't disagree if she was being factual. So in that case, I would take the same, like, if hypothetically I let myself go, I'm a fat fuck. I would take the, the self-improvement route. Same as cuz. You know what mm. I'm saying? And then, yeah, when I'm dropping the sick eyes off on her, let her know, like, I heard that shit you said still, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I heard that, you know, you, you was talking with your little friends and them. I think I ain't hear you. I was in the other room, baby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now you have a whole different tone, a new physique and a new tone yeah, of yeah, voice. Yeah, so I'm sorry. I'm just fucked up. And while I'm paging her, nah, hey, the fuck, most fucked up part is when I'm paging her, I'm talking to her like Kevin Gates. Holy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, baby. A Kevin Gates alter ego is crazy. <laughs> I'm talking to her. I'll even put the feather in my hair while I'm giving her the stern eyes. It's crazy. <laughs> that that is crazy. But yo. That's a wild alter ego. Okay. Two things. What are you doing in this situation? I think I'm. A, I, your answer is pretty much pretty adequate, right? Pretty adequate. Yeah, Kay. I feel like if you, nigga, if you know you're slacking, she knows you're slacking. Okay. Yeah, and I, feel, I trust Shorty's opinion. So she pick up the telling. slack. So in me? addition to this, because you were the one who heard the thing, what would you recommend to the woman that heard this? Like, say she were calling in to you and she asked you for your advice on the exact same situation you overheard. Yeah. What would you recommend to her to fix this or to how to go about this? Not even necessarily to fix it. Go ahead. I would tell Shrep, did you gain a couple pounds? So you would ask her straight up. You that, <laughs> listen, petty as fuck. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. She knew who she called. So if you call me, you know who you're calling. Right. Okay. You've already seen my content. You know I'm rocking. So don't <laughs> call, don't come on my on my phone line being sensitive. Do you want this advice or not? Or send back your money. <laughs> like, you're not gonna you're not gonna fucking stress me out today. <laughs> you right? want to so, hear the truth and nothing but the truth? Yeah, that's what you're gonna get. Or like, yo, Beat come it. off my phone. So I would tell her, I'll ask her, yo, listen, did you gain a couple pounds? And if she says yes, I'm like, okay, well, the nigga wasn't lying. So you're Kevin Samuels in it? No, I didn't say that. Like, I'm not, well, to an extent, okay, when you say Kevin Samuels in it, it sounds like I'm about to just be a no, rough but, and but, abrasive. But, no, but the thing but about he it, wasn't always like that with yeah. people. So I'm just clarifying because I did watch a bit of the man's content and he wasn't always rude or rough with everybody. Sometimes he was just straightforward. I would just be straightforward. So I'd ask her. Did you gain the weight? And she says, yes. <clears throat> then I would say, well, you understand that he was attracted to you based on how you looked previously. You recognize that you gained a couple of pounds. You know that generally that's not what a man wants in his woman. Mm -hmm. Likewise, you, I'm sure you have some standards you, you hold him to. Mm -hmm. And if he was falling below them, you, you wouldn't like that either. So mm -hmm. I would recommend that you lose some weight and maybe... Um, Maybe there's other areas in your relationship where you could spice it up. Like, how much effort do you even put into your aesthetics? I know that when people get busy with work and maybe you have kids and stuff like that, some people worry less about being sexy. It's not as much of a priority. Yo, being sexy is important. Stop, don't ever stop being sexy. Stop wearing turtlenecks in the crib, eh? Your man does not want to see you fully dressed in a turtleneck ever at the crib. You know? I'm letting you know that off the rip. Even if you already got a nice body and a nice physique, you know, like... Maybe get your hair done sometimes. Go get your nails done. Wear some you know booty I mean? shorts. Wear some. Go tight. get some nice lingerie. Entice your man. You know, in the way that you want him to reaffirm how he feels about you, mm -hmm. the man wants you to reaffirm how you feel about him. 
And the one way you could do that is letting them know, like, hey, I'm over here looking good for you. Mm -hmm. I'm maintaining this because I know you like this. Mm -hmm. So look what I went and did for you. Not only am I maintaining some shit, but That's I want to got some. I want to got some lingerie that you can pull off of me later. Mm -hmm. A nigga would like that, bro. Any man would like that from his woman. You know, for her to proactively engage in the things that he desires, he's gonna like that. Likewise, a woman would like that. You know, mm -hmm. women want. Oh, why don't you get me some flowers or? Why don't you surprise me with things, you know? Mm -hmm. Because you want to know that this man is thinking about you even when you're not physically present. Maybe your man would like the same thing. It doesn't have to be a one for one. We don't have to perform the same actual actions. Nah, you know what's fucked up? But man. the motivation behind it. So here's one for the Gautam. If you don't know this, if you do know this, take it as a gem. Gem from X. See how you like flowers? Yo, don't be afraid to send your man some miscellaneous nudes unexpectedly. Eh? They're like flowers for the man them, trust me. Facts. Crazy. Anyways, Real thing. Yeah, it's a gem. One of X's key gems. Take note. Fuck real up a shit. nigga's whole thought process. 100%. Nah, it's real shit. Imagine it's two in the afternoon. You're hard at work and whatever you're doing. Ass. Mm. <laughs> and, and and it's personal ass. It's not even just a random No, work. no, no. Because the fucked up part is like, imagine you have a show you don't send you nudes, but you got random things that would send you nudes and you didn't even do that much for them. Yeah, yeah, 100%. They're I think ass. every man has been in that scenario. It's crazy. crazy. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. So. When it comes from the one that you want the most, that shit counts a little bit more. 100%. There's more weight on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So don't lose sight of those things. that should be sacred to niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When, when you know those cheeks saying? are intended I'm getting, for me. I'm getting nudes from my woman. I'm getting the personal nudes. The next thing that sent you the nudes... I don't even care about that. We don't even know if I'm on a mass text. But I don't business because me and you aren't even that close. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. another man that has the exact same copy of nudes, fam. And yo, cheers, fam. Yeah, you, you are not know. the only individual but, with this picture of some breasts. When you're my woman, I'm I'm feeling like this is exclusive. I got the Patreon of nudes right here. You get yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Join I'm, Patreon. Got a fucking file folder for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm mm -hmm. getting the exclusive. I'm, I'm I'm part of the club right here. This is just for me. That that make that's more engaging for your relationship. I think so too. You know what's fucked up? Yo, Shorty sent you a nude. How you excited to come home to the bitch? Too? Sorry, to your wife too. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> It's fuck if you just left bitch alone, it would have been smooth. But I then know, you I highlighted it, and I like know, now it's rough. I double back on it. Now it's rough. I double back on it. Like you know when kids are about to cry and you look at him, like, like nigga, I'll don't fuck. look at him. Yeah, like yeah, now no, he's I crying. Fucked that, I, I fucked that up. I yeah. fucked that up. It was smooth initially, but yeah. If you all go ahead, you it's know. Out, it's out, yeah, it's yeah, out. It happened, it happened, it happened. You got his point. Move forward, move forward, move forward. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yo, so Saki. Saki has a nigga loose. You want to yeah. send a nigga a midday titty? That's Left titty. Blessed. Left titty. Bro, it, 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 it goes a long way. We want to feel wanted just how you want to feel wanted. You 100%. Know? So, I mean, my man was over there making jokes with the man. That's a little bit rough. I'm not going to lie. I heard that part. I was like, Funny. that's a little bit Funny. Rough. Made me laugh, though. I started uh -huh. laughing before I told the story. Yo, it made jokes. me laugh. You also got to check your surroundings. But... You yeah, should, should he, was he was unaware. He was unaware. You don't know what it's fucked up. Maybe you're, you're fucked up. Maybe he wasn't even unaware. Maybe he just didn't care because that Yo, happens too. Maybe he's a super foul nigga. He's like, I hope she hears this. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know like, what I'm bitch, saying? Lose some weight. You know what I mean? Like, which if you're the man in this scenario, I personally have never been married for ten years plus, but I would recommend that. Yo, fam, find a way to be more straightforward while still being considerate of her feelings, but don't make her overhear you. Yeah, making like, yo, jokes with the well, man. Well, that's the thing, though. yo, bro. Like, yeah, that's understand. rough. Bro. Even at ten years of marriage, yo, your lines of communication should kind of be somewhat like authentic to actually how you feel. So, if this is really how you feel, and you're only expressing it with your friends, although you've been aligned and married to this individual for ten years, but yo, there's deeper issues at hand. One, you're not being like you know, you're not being authentic in your communication style. You should be like, you know, what I'm saying like, yeah. why am I hiding anything from the woman I'm living with for ten years? Mm -hmm. Like, yo, if I'm upset about something, like. There should be nothing I'm afraid to ask you. We're there should be nothing I'm afraid to tell be, you. Like literally uncomfortable. 100%. Like imagine you share <laughs> so a life. much. Yeah, mm. you share mm -hmm. your life with this person, mm -hmm. but there's limitations on what you can say or what you can ask. And it's like, even like say for example, you're with the man. It's like it's free flowing. Like, like nigga, you you gained some weight, bro. Like you, you not bigger than before. Like, like you can say that good, shit. Nigga. Mm -hmm. You know, and one, it's just an observation. Two, it's like, Fab, what are you doing, Fab? Fix up. Like, you know, it's not even... Niggas up. might still feel the ways. <laughs> you might, but like, yo, I don't even care, Fab. I've known you like 10 but years, Fab. You're fatter than before. Shut criticism up. criticism and gal criticism is different, though. You might not say it exactly in the same fashion, but you should have the same level Bad of comfort. Haters. <laughs> well, you know what it is? So, yo, I will also say, though, pause. There's a difference in the socialization aspect of accountability, for example. Men will hold each other accountable to certain things, for example. Like, like you specifically mentioned. So, getting out of shape. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you look fat as fuck. 
boom, I'm going to hold you accountable to that because as um, uh, as your friend, as an equal, as a peer or a man that respects you, I hold you to this accountability. When I see you slipping below that, I'm going to make mention of it so you can bring yourself back up. You get what I'm saying? Women aren't necessarily wired or if they're not like, I just don't see them doing that to the same degree. Whereas women will tell a woman who's looking fat and out of shape and fucking looks terrible. Girl, you look so good. Don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Like Because women also socialize based on the way that they want to be perceived. Right. So she's also thinking, okay, how is she going to respond when I tell her the truth? If it's going to be negative, I'm not doing that because I don't want to risk losing the friendship or causing a so conflict. So your question, is that so even a real friendship? So in your perspective or your opinion, is that even the basis of a real friendship? No. How could it be if it's not based no. in fucking facts? It's and not truth? how I would define my friendships and therefore I wouldn't I couldn't say yeah that like I can't modify the definition of a friendship based on who's involved. It right. doesn't sound consistent. Right. I do understand that they can still actually engage in a friendship and enjoy each other's company while having limitations that me and my friends don't have. Right. They can still exist in that, but there's an area where there's only so far the two of you can actually go. Right. You guys until, need until, a battle until it's tested. personal. Until it yeah. gets real. Until, until it, it gets, gets real. Personal. And the first time the two of you are confronted with a mutual problem to solve will be when you realize how you actually feel about each other. Whereas me and my brethren can go through more scenarios because we've already revealed these ourselves to each other. Mm -hmm. So it's like we're not going to be surprised by each other's reaction to certain situations. You know what I mean? That makes sense. And so because you have that awareness because of how you interact, like we have like almost limitless interactions i'm not afraid to say something to you but you know what's fucked up? i also feel like i'm and i mentioned this prior you get the most out of your interactions and you can be the most authentic version of yourself so when you can say you're raw unfiltered or you can actually be as honest as you possibly can with another individual without the fear of judgment or whatever the backlash might be you're gonna get the most meaningful yeah. encounter in that interaction yeah right so like not only will it be beneficial it'll also be fulfilling yeah it'll definitely be more like for example bro there's not a woman that I'm with that that thinks she could gain a couple pounds and I'm cool with it. I'll let her know straight up, like, bro, like, and don't get me wrong. As we get older, we will naturally put on more weight. So I'm 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 considering the fact that it is going to happen. So well, you're not gonna she your... gains a pound and I'm tripping out. Like for the people that want to, they're probably gonna respond with something extreme. But I mean, when she starts to look disproportionate, she looks drastically different than the woman that I decided to be with. Any woman that I've been with will know, like, that's not going to be acceptable for me. As much as I like your personality, I'm here because you look good, too. But I feel like that's because, like, you as a person, you're actually active yourself. Yeah. Right? So it's like... like I'm me, also like active me. with my words. I yeah. let people know how I feel. <laughs> like me, I'm, I'm, I'm active. So it's like, you know, I... I I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure, like, even though you may not want to do it, you might just have to do it. Don't sleep, though, eh? Don't sleep. There's beer people out there who watch you get up every day, go to the gym, and don't do it. You don't think there's broke people that watch other people go to work every day? Of course. They sit on the couch. You don't hear all these jokes about women having a man living in their house and they got to go to work every morning? Baby boy. It was a whole film. You see the, that two It's a motion me? picture. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> and it's like, but that, those are real people. We know them. You, you know, know what I mean? You guys want to backtrack? You guys want to go on baby boy for a sec? Have you guys been seeing? I, I don't know. I've been doubling around where they're saying like, yo, watch baby boy now. And, and, and you, you take in like... It's not portrayed like the way it's presented isn't the way it's a it is actually. And what, and what fashion? What do you mean? Though? Fuck, I'm pre I'm trying Elaborate. to make. So they're trying to say, oh, fuck, I forget who was the villain or uh, it's because it's a very specific the way it's oh, laid out. Oh, I you think what I what know saying? what you mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, a popular yo, thing. It's really trending. If you do watch it as an adult, because the movie's old, and if you're around our age, if you're around the age of thirty, then this movie came out when you were much younger, mm. and you had a obviously a different perspective in life similar to when we're talking about the fucking the city high people them and what would you do da, da, da. Like, home, yeah well, i felt home, bad in the first half not flow. so bad in the second half so <laughs> going back and watching baby boy as an adult everybody's fact, irresponsible. Bad for everybody in the movie everybody's every character is getting a bad word except uh jody's first baby moms she's the only she's actually a sicker thing than than the second baby mom what was what was the girl's name oh, i forget the bro. one that was with snoop dogg and calling snoop dogg on the phone she's yeah. foul Foul. What do you mean you're taking jail calls while I'm not here? I don't like you too, little nigga. Bro, I had a man all up in my crib batting up my youth. Are you stupid? Man smoking weed in front of your youth. Man's in jail calling your phone every day. She didn't rate Jody, fam. Bro, because Jody wasn't moving rateable. He wasn't moving rateable. But she still violated because if you don't rate him, you should have left him. You feel me? Instead of doing that fuckery. Now you have Snoop Dogg in the crib and Snoop I was pulling up at my crib shooting at me. With a gang of niggas. Yeah, with a gang of niggas. Literally, a gang. You brought the gang to the crib with my youth. Like, you're bugging out. But his first, his first, Oman, first of all, 
I just got to keep it real. She actually looked better than Taraji P, fam. When I go back and I watch her, I'm like, yo, your first baby mom's was Guan Yin. No. She's cooking the man food. The she has her own crazy. spot. The mom is moving crazy. The mom is crazy. But yo, she liked her No, the mom's that. not even crazy. The mom's tired of the fuckery. Tired. Yeah, you come like, to my crib, eat my I food, this nigga frog smoke leaving weed in my daughter's room, room <laughs> fuck my daughter, and then leave. Nigga, I don't like you. Why would you like him? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I know, but like, you guys Who would like this, that nigga? This big ass nigga just frog leaping you in the fucking kid. Oh, I thought you meant the fucking. No, he's talking about Jody's mom. I thought you meant the first baby mom. No, 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 no. He's talking about Jody's mom. He's talking about Jody's mom. Oh. Yeah. Jody's mom sort of out of. Okay, no, she's out of pocket still. I'm not, not even sort of. Because uh, you can't have. He's a, out of pocket because he's still. You can't there. have a big naked ex convict in the kitchen. This nigga's cooking naked in the bed. Under yeah. no circumstance, when you know an ex man lives in here, I don't care if he's your man, tell him to put on some draws. <laughs> like, at the very least, like, we couldn't even draw the line at draws. This nigga choked. My man's out. cheeks out in my kitchen asking me if I want bacon. I'll fight this nigga. I'll shoot this. You're not fighting him. Yeah, I just see, want you to know you're not you fighting a these that nigga did sweaty Ving Rhames. You didn't see him put him in a headlock and lick his scalp, fam? You don't want that. Shoot this guy and stop playing games. <laughs> lick his scalp. Is lick his scalp. Fam, lick his scalp. You'll, crazy, never, you'll never live that down. You'll, you'll never, never live that. Never you have to kill him. Like, I want you to know you're catching a body that afternoon because what's your life about? Okay. A man licked your scalp. You have to kill him. You're not wrong. So you're not fighting but Ving what? Rhames in the fucking kitchen while he's naked, bro? <laughs> Go in All the room. I was getting at is that baby boy is immensely fucking inappropriate. And like, yo, in modern day life, if you were to apply logic and common sense as we do here on Uncommon He's a waste Sense, man, yo, waste man. <laughs> nothing is nothing is as it was presented. All he did was put rims on his woman's car, fam. That's all he got did. punked off by the youths, fam. He did. He did. He, he's a he buster. Did. He's he a whole buster. From the kids, he, he ran fam. from them. He ran from them. On his bike. He, had he had to go drop for his bretches. He had to go drop for his bretches. Still, it was crazy. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, sorry, that was a complete side note of where we were at. Do you have any other discussionary topics you would like to get off your chest? Oh. Hey, look at your phone. My apologies. Sorry for that. Shit. And this uh, would probably be any round. Yeah, we got yeah, We have room for one more. We got super side track. We have room for one more. Oh. Um, well, gas you over there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sake, my nigga. It's a sake. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got another one. Okay, hit him up. Hit him up. Hit him up. Let him know. Tupac. Is sex a duty or an obligation in a relationship? Both. Cause says both. Okay. Unpack well, that. Well, I, I I use them synonymously. Okay. But Unpack that. Why do you say both? And, and like, I think it's my duty to fuck my girl. Okay. And, and it, I'm obligated to fuck my girl. And okay. likewise, she's obligated yeah. to use some pussy. Right. Okay. And this is also because like this is another topic I've heard on other podcasts and shit. And it's basically usually used in response to when women say, uh, when when guys are talking about like women withholding sex from their man. And that's crazy. And usually women respond with like things like, okay, maybe like I come home from work, I'm tired, or I did X, Y, Z, I don't want to fuck right now. And How then they respond with, with like, well, I'm paying the bills, I'm doing this. Like, you we basically need to give me some pussy. No, 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 but you and then stuff? I'm like, I'm like, I don't even if I, I don't know if I like his perspective. Either. I don't like no, because his, his perspective is weak as well. I don't know, I don't like that's it. nothing. Like, you know what it yeah. is though? So sex in and of itself, regardless of how you frame it, it's a vice. You get what I'm saying? Uh, same like 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 food, like weed, like alcohol, like it, whatever advice you got. You got what I'm saying? And so it's like, figuratively speaking, as a single person, like you got to be able to navigate. Like you got to acquire sex. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or like, and when I say acquire, I don't mean like purchasing sex. I mean yeah. like you actually got to go out court and covet some sex. As a single man. As a single man. Specific. A single single man. Yeah. Exactly. So when you're in a relationship, now the whole coveting and the obtaining of sex is supposed to be like that's not supposed to be um an issue now right because you mm-hmm. have someone who you have right you have a communicate like you have a relationship with you guys have a sexual relationship and so now these needs are fulfilled with each other right mm-hmm. now if there is an unbalance in these dynamics like if i want to have sex a lot more than my woman wants to have sex now there's just going to be an unbalance in our dynamic our understanding in our relation now and so like that will cause a lot of like turbulence for lack of better terms you get what i'm saying may it be someone um, indulges in infidelity. Maybe be in someone just fucking, I don't know, like, bro, the relationship starts to fade. Now I'm starting to, like, treat you worse. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm giving you extra attitude when you don't need it. Like, just certain shit. Like, you know what I mean? Because, like, yo, the understand, we are no longer on the same page. You know what I'm saying? So does that mean that you think sex is an obligation? Sex is an ob- It's fucked because it's, like, it's a, it's a, it, Obligate. I don't like the word obligation. That's what's bothering me about it. That's how it was supposed. I know, and that's why it's kind of bothering. That's why it's hard to speak on a little bit because it's like nobody owes you sex. 
You get what I'm saying? Oh. And so, like, the term, like, the, the, the idea of obligation presents itself as if, like, you were owed it. You know so what I'm saying? So, yes, you can elaborate, but, like, in final thoughts, do you think it's an obligation or no? I think it's a requirement, not necessarily an obligation. Fuck, maybe it might be an obligation. That's why like, I it's said so both. black and white. It's black and white. It is both when you really put it down. But, like, because it's not, because it's not black and white, there's variables into, like, how you navigate it. But, like... There is an ob- obligatory aspect to have sex in your relationship with the person you're in a relationship with. If that makes any sense. So if it's a, like obligation, like if I'm going to fuck in a relationship, I suppose, yeah. If I'm just going to black and white it. Bro, it's the easiest way because I just feel like. Think about it. No, no, no. And I'm obligated to. I this. don't think it's an obligation because like you said, no one's obligated. No one to owes sex you sex, anybody. right? But I do think but in I a do understand that it's an expectation. And if you don't want to meet that expectation, why are you with that person? So we should change obligated to expected. No, my answer was still so, to answer the question, my answer is no. It's so not you an don't obligation. think it's obligated. Okay. Because an obligation means you have to do this whether you want to or not. Okay. And so I think you, you shouldn't be in a relationship with yeah. somebody okay, if you don't want to have yeah, sex with them. But that's why I say like there's a certain aspect. And it shouldn't be so bad to the point where I feel like it's always a problem. Now, if there's a couple nights where you're just fucking tired, that's fine. Cause there's gonna be a couple nights where I'm fucking tired. We have lives to live and we got shit to do. And maybe it's better that I don't fuck you with one eye open right now. Like maybe it's better if I just go to sleep and then like you know, I'll fuck you when I'm resting. Right. I don't know. So I think you can find compromise in that if somebody is tired here here and there. But if you find that on a consistent basis, you want to have sex, they don't want to have sex, it's not a matter of obligation. I think it's a matter of attraction. I don't think that the uh, the party that doesn't want the party that doesn't want to have sex, they don't want you that much. They're with you for other reasons. Okay. And so for say- me personally, I wouldn't even want to be with that person. Well, that one, and the whole basis of a relationship is like it's an agreement, right? Like it, a relationship in itself is a coming to, and we've agreed and we've aligned each other with one another, right? Mm-hmm. So if it's not kind of clearly, like not clearly stated, now you should fucking no, no, fuck it. If it's not clearly stated, your expectations prior to entering the relationship, and maybe all expectation may be financial, fucking responsibility, chores, sex, like you know, like these are all important factors when coming together and sharing union. So I do think that these things should be vocalized and expressed. And if you've made it very clear that like you would like to have sex X amount of times throughout the month, you get what I'm saying? But you know what else is fucked? Like that sounds so formal. Like I personally No, for sure. I understand what you're saying, but like you couldn't Lord. imagine having that conversation for more than one reason. One, it just sounds very formal to describe like this is how often I'm gonna need sex from you. Like, is this a fucking job interview? That sounds like a lot. And then like also in reality, in practice. When I've been with a woman and we like each other, we both want to be intimate with one another. They're like I'm not nobody's pulling teeth in so the matter. Say, so say she's I, not begging me for sex and I'm not begging her for so, sex. We're kind of equally weighted in this matter. So say there's a couple of days you where also, no sex is going. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Even to, I didn't mean to cut you off. I'm so sorry about sorry. that. My apologies. I was gonna say to even add on that, you haven't been in a super long term relationship. So you don't know how the sexual dynamic has changed. I've been in a relationship for like at least a year and I feel like it's a Bro, long time. No, okay. So long enough time. Nigga, no, no. But d- no, for no, this no, example, no. these are not all people that are in fucking 10 plus years. I'm year not gonna lie, yo, put it like this. If you guys do not have sexual fucking alignment in one year of dating, get the fuck out. I'm talking about long term relationships. This, at first, I thought like, Five to ten years is what I was thinking this example was referring to. Because that is no, when kind of sexual differences. the conversation would take place with people from different age groups. Because I've seen it on more than one podcast where somebody has rebuttaled that sex is an obligation in a relationship. And they weren't necessarily describing all the time a long-standing relationship. Now, I do understand that there are a lot of people that are married. And they've, they've reported that when we started off, we were having a lot of sex. As our relationship progressed, that went down. That is slightly different. But that's different. what I was referring to, and that's what I thought it was oh, necessarily Okay, so I might, was basing the question just off of the matter. Like, it do, it's irrelevant to how much time you guys have been together. One party wants sex. The other party is withholding. Is there an obligation for them to acquiesce to the other if one? You, if that is basically the basic if you question. Want me, now we can go right. further into the length of the relationship and how that may affect that. Like, we can discuss that, too. Like, because I, I think, yeah, if you guys are together 10 years... There and somebody doesn't want to have sex. It might be because of like what we talked about previously. Maybe you've let yourself go, oh. and and not only physically. Maybe in other standards. Maybe even the standard of your interactions has has gone down. You guys are fucking always tense with each other. You have you have issues that you haven't resolved, 
and they've been being swept under the rug, but you guys still have an amount of resentment towards each other. And now, like, no, I don't want to fuck that much. Like, you bother me. You know? Okay. So, I'm going to throw the ball to you real quick. How do you feel? What's your stance on that? Well, like... Like, the length of time making a difference. So, my first question was based on just a relationship in general. Is sex an obligation? Mm. Your answer was yes. Now, with there being an added pressure variable. of... Added variable of time. Yes. Yeah. So now we're five, maybe ten years into this relationship, and sex is starting to go this way. Do you feel like it's an obligation still? Do you still feel the same way that you felt previously? Or do you feel maybe there's other areas that need to be improved? I would definitely think there's more than just one. Like you, there's other things to improve on. I wouldn't think it's just that. Like I think it would just be a lot of shit like fine i think you would just i don't know personal shit would affect you like like it's bigger than sex yeah like, like sometimes it's like bro if you're having like if you're off you're off bro like you know what i'm saying it doesn't you can't perform yeah like you know what i'm saying shorty could be doing whatever she wants to do like you can't even rise to the occasion because you might just be like yo fuck work is stressed yeah fuck i have this bill fuck shorty doesn't even know like i just lost my job so in this example that you're speaking about or how you're speaking about it, you're the one that's not giving the sex that's wanted yeah okay just, but, but like, likewise, she could be going through something. And then I feel like it's. it's but do you feel, feel like, like so? Like, uh, yeah, exactly. Vice versa, she's the one withholding sex because of whatever reason she may hold. Do you feel a way? Are you very understanding? Do you have the same understanding you would have expected for yourself just now? We gotta talk about this. The, <laughs> you have talk. less understanding than you want. For yeah, yourself. but <laughs> because it's like. So is there a, is there an amount of time before you start getting kind of mad or frustrated with with the, like with no sex? Like your girl's going through it at work, her job's been stressing her out. She doesn't want to fuck for the month because yo, her mind's fuck just, for the month. Her mind's been all over the place and she can't <laughs> focus on you. She gets uh, home. You guys nah, are out there. You guys live a good life, but yo, nah, she hasn't been able to like give just, you. That's it's weird. It's been one month, thirty days. You've been with this woman for two years. Like she's stressing. No, a month is too long, my nigga. I'm not gonna hold you. A month is so too long. So what's your so like what's your duration? You got period? like a week max. So you want to have sex at least once a week. I'm trying to fuck well, more. No, you're trying to fuck more than once a week, yeah. but you got seven so days to get what your did shit I say? together. I said, yeah. So I said, you want to have sex at least once a yeah. week. What are you arguing there? Well, I guess we have to differentiate. Is that a one-time <laughs> thing, or are you going to... Because you saying once a week means that she gets the fucking fuck off for, for se well, no, seven days he said, and then return, which he doesn't said necessarily he want... sound ideal. No, no, Listen, but he... You got he seven presented. days until I'm expected and obligated to some pussy. Yeah, so he said basically... So once a week, minimum. Is it once a week minimum, or she has a week to figure out why she hasn't been fucking you? Because no. our, that, that means that you're going to tolerate her. No, I want her. both things done at the week. You're going to fuck me, and you're going to tell me why you haven't been fucking me. So that doesn't sound like a once a week. So that doesn't I, sound like the new schedule. That sounds like I will give you seven days to fucking cleanse yourself. So if your woman doesn't have sex with you within seven days, then what? Bro, we're going to have to talk about this. What the fuck you mean? Like, bro, there's no way you're just going to so what, you just come into bed naked and rolling, out, rolling the other way. She wears her nightie. What are you talking about? She's basically naked. We know what women's house houses are. Girls nah, bro, I you're know in a relationship. She's fabric. wearing a nightie, yeah. bro. It's a long nightgown. Yo, girls, I know sleep naked. What? Why does so she like, even own that? That's a bigger problem. I ain't never been in a bed with a woman with a nightie, fam. What? How old are we, bro? Yeah. Look, like, women get in the, in, in the bed. Like, if, in anyhow, some she shit. comes in the bed with baby powder on her chest and a fucking nightie, bro. Yeah, yeah. Fuck Come up on, bro. Bed. We're not even she doing that. It's under the titty, so they don't sweat. You know. You have nah, a Canada nah. passport. You're and that's how like you're behaving? Avon, don't come to my. Don't come in my titty. Nah, this is too much. So <laughs> nobody's getting in the bed with the nightie. She's probably getting in a yeah. panty and no bra. And fam, let me tell you how that might as well be naked. From I see, yeah, you're, you're... from I see too much movement in the fabric. Like you might as well take it off. Just take it off. It's yeah. Good. Okay. 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 Nothing sexy about a night. You have a week. How long are you giving your woman before you get you're making a noise? I'll give her more than a week, but I would like to know why this is happening because I feel like there's something Go off. On. Okay. Right. Especially if we were having sex previously. Am I trying in? This I week? haven't gone down. Yeah. Like, like you're tr you're trying. Like to I'm attempting to like to like. Yeah. yeah you're yeah, trying yeah, to you're yeah, trying, you're trying to have the normal going, relationship she's, she's you've been having, yeah. but lately she's like, bro, I'm just. Work has got me fucked yeah, up I'm right like, now. I'm not gonna lie. Right I'm gonna now. try. I'm gonna try to break her out that shell, but within the week, still like, fuck. We gotta get. We gotta find. The Cause it's showing up. Greased up. <laughs> chest. I'm yeah, not gonna like try and mask. seduce her into it. <laughs> Cause it's busting out his ski mask. That. Yeah. I'm not pulling out my <laughs> ski mask and my baby oil, but. I'm going to ask her what she's going crazy. through. That's crazy. I'm not going to I don't know, Cause bro. Got, you're just... only the ski mask and the baby oil talking about, yo, babes, you really don't want this right now? That's a crazy... And some flowers. Yeah, yeah. A one rose. <laughs> Fuck it. One, one rose. rose. One rose in the fucking mouth part of the ski mask. That's crazy. I'm out here like tuxedo mask, man. Like, 
At that point, I do think she's obviously. Yo, obvious. tuxedo you ski mask is fucking crazy. Nah, nah, nah. Niggas don't know what to say to their moon. Right. Tuxedo ski mask is fucking crazy. I can't think of that. Okay, can't. You don't know tuxedo mask? You never want to say the moon? I can't think of it right. I'd have to. I'd have no, don't worry. No, so no, no. It'll pop up. It'll pop up. Yo, tuxedo mask. And then there's tuxedo ski mask. It's fucking crazy. Anyhow, continue. My apologies. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to try and seduce her because I feel like the problem is beyond sex. The problem is with her and whatever the fuck. Yeah, is no going amount on. of oil on your chest. So fix yeah, this. there's no yeah, there's no point in me getting greased up. She don't even want that. Now I'm just sitting there. Well, I must slide no over. I must slide over to her. Not nah, fucking out the bed sheets. <laughs> yeah, bro. I just got shit sticking to me for no reason. Like, uh, look, look. I'm gonna, gonna ask wall, like... her with words what she's going through and see. Because like realistically, I have to imagine like, yo, people in relationships. There's bare people. You ain't never been out in public and seen a couple, and it's like, yo, bro. You guys don't even like each other on the low. <laughs> I feel like I've had days like that too. You're in okay. So, with that being understood, she it's still like. Wants ass though. <laughs> but uh, she might not want it as much as you do because she's fucking mad and. Women like, are more emotional. We've okay. Watch this. I wouldn't even say just women are more emotional, but you know, on a previous definitely. episode, we thought we asked you. Would you go to bed comfortably with an unresolved argument? We did ask you. You that. said yeah. We said no. Mm. So. That's like, yeah, you can find days. comfort, like, we can fix this later. Whereas my personality is like, bitch, wake up, we're fixing this now, because I can't sleep, therefore we can't sleep. What's wow. going on? And so if if I can understand how much that would stress me, then it's like, you're like, well, I know we had an argument last week, but I want to fuck. And she's like, yeah, nigga, we didn't solve it last week. I don't. I can understand her grievance. Yeah, but the gallop no Whereas, <laughs> like, bro, people are like that, fam. Because, like, real, okay, realistically, if, if I get into a thing with my girl, and then she's done arguing, and she tries to seduce me, I feel like every man's been through this. Like, yeah, you're like, winning. Move, move. I'm winning. Let's check the scoreboard on the argument. If somebody was here to check score, I'm defeating you right now. <laughs> and now, all of a sudden, you want to touch me? Oh, listen, I'm don't touch my me. opponent. Like, real thing, don't touch me right now. Don't try and kiss me. You're undermining my position, and I'm getting Take your hand off my chest. No, real thing. I've had to tell things like, yo, stop touching me. Because right right now, I'm not even in a sexual mood. Like, you don't even realize how angry you just got me five minutes ago, and now you think, what, I'm just going to get naked and forget about it? I'm real. In real life, I'm angry right now. Fix it. So she might feel the same way. Like, so you want draws right now. So you're trying (laughs) to climb up on top of me right now. Like you didn't just Man, fucking you do something to piss up your me chest. Up. You don't want pissed off. What's wrong with you? So you see me here not talking to you, slamming doors, and you have the audacity to oil up your chest. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and uh, <laughs> go bait. Go on, babe, just go kid, bait. Regin. So I feel like there's beer people in a relationship, and it's like, fam, you're the guy with a greased up chest, and she's over there mad. Vex. And then you're thinking about, yo, my woman needs to give me sex because I pay the bills. Like, yo, fam, a vagina don't even get wet like that. It don't even work I'm like that. I'm not oily enough. Her vagina is not oily enough. Grease yourself, bro. <laughs> Grease up yourself, cuz. Yo. You're trying to just slip and slide into it. Yeah, like I, I guess this. at your level of fucking greasiness on the chest, you might just slide in there. You f- um, you might surprise her with somebody. She didn't even know you're in there. She's like, I lie. Yeah. But like in a realistic scenario. When I fall into my bed this angry. I'm, not letting, I'm letting you know that. So that means now you have to resolve your argument. You can't just go to bed how you went to bed and then roll over and try to start grabbing some my ass. My resolves are different than Man's trying to pull off draws 3 o'clock in the morning as if he didn't fall asleep in the middle of the argument. Yeah, I just yeah, don't yeah. think she's getting wet the same. And I don't think it's because she's not attractive don't to worry, you. Fam, the man, I don't think it's because... i rub this chest and use it as lube, bro. It's fine. I don't do any of these things. <laughs> and you know what's crazy? It's 10 years down the line after man let himself go. He's, he's rubbing on a whole different chest. Hey, he's man. rubbing his breasts and fucking... He, he's rubbing breasts bigger than hers. Talk about, That's yo, fine, why don't you want to fuck? That's fine. You're you going to give me some of this today. Uh, uh, yo, yo, yo. So... I don't know. I guess that kind of brings us towards the end of the show. Any, any man have any final thoughts on, on what we've discussed today? No, nah, fam. You guys seem to put, put me on the bus enough times so already still. You guys threw me under the bus enough times. I'm not lie. I don't remember throwing you under the bus. You shot outrageous responses today. I don't think I ever said anything slanderous today. Fam. I'm I not. think you volunteered for all the craziness. Maybe I have. You brought your own oil. You brought your own oil to this party still. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yeah, we'll cause any final sentiments before we sign off? Don't be as greasy as the man. Don't fucking... be as greasy as his chest. <laughs> Mitch, you have anything you'd like to tell the guests? Don't grease up your chest until you fix the argument from last night at, ver- at the very least. Make <laughs> sure that <laughs> make sure you don't have any argument debt before you apply for some new sex. If you're going to grease up your chest, use coconut oil.
<laughs> all natural, non-GMO. Right. Let us know in the comments about your your thoughts and perspectives on all these takes. Like, is sex an obligation? Let us know. Do you grease up your chest when you go to seduce your woman? Let if us know. If your girl pisses you off, can't you just start rubbing your chest and, and everything is forgiven? Does it work that way for you? You know it doesn't. But yo, let us know in the comments how it does. It might though. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Anyhow, some, some horny niggas out there. It's your boy X, RIP Max on everything social. Castro Nero88 on Instagram. Money Mitch, 54X Mitch on Instagram. And we are on Common Sense. Like and subscribe. Peace. Mm. I got a wow.